I don't know. I don't <laughs> full that often. Well, I just feel like we're dying. All right. <sighs> what is that noise? <laughs> All right, Lopez, pause your no man's sky. I can listen in. I'm fine. No, put that away. Oh, that's what that was. That was actually a spaceship launching. Yeah, because I could hear it, and that means that the recording can hear it. So put it away. Uh, is the recording going? Game? Yeah, I can hear it. Yeah, it's recording. <laughs> Hello, world. Well, hey, All right. Wayne. Is everyone hey, ready? I guess, yeah. All right, let's get started. Hello, everyone. Welcome to D&D shenanigans uh, of our game, Rupni Revived. Uh, I am... The host and dungeon master Killian Davies, and this is our first recording slash streaming session, but it's not streaming yet, so this is only part one of recording. Uh, to my right of the monitors that I have uh, selected, that it ever looks ever different to everyone else, I have Charlotte Foley, who's Tolly. I have Hello. Paul Lopez, who's Kygo. I have Luis Torres, who's Xerxes. I have Chase Harper, who's Dradar. And I have Harmony Jones. Or Harmony Summer Jones as her Facebook goes by, uh, as Iona. When I just when I just throw out her <laughs> entire Facebook, not anyone can search her up. Dude, they can all look us up, and that's how we get internet famous. I don't, I don't. I don't that's how you get stalkers. You know, the step one of being famous is to have stalkers, right? There, Luis. And, no, step one is to have nice-looking people. <laughs> 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 we're we're like step point one. Yeah, step point one. I'm All right. Really, I know. I got that one checked off right now. Okay. Oh, she's gone. Bye. And she's gone. This is a common tendency of the Roll20 <laughs> is, uh, no offense to Roll20, just a little bit of connection issues oh, every now and then. Offense to Roll20. <laughs> offense to Roll20 and shut down immediately. But yeah, so, without further ado, oh, we lost oh, Charlotte too. That's good. Harmony came back and Charlotte disappeared. God damn it, roll 20. It's gonna be one of the latest well, missions. This, it's, it's... this computer sucks. So, I'm gonna <laughs> like try to... to move over to my own computer once it starts she is. working. You just got back? Oh, there she is. Okay. Alright, cool. I hate my computer. My webpage Everyone... just shut off. Harmony just said that too. Alright, let us. I can... oh. It sounds like a. <laughs> what was that? Senior. Was that Lopez or was that Harmony? No, that's. <laughs> What? Is... No, that's totally the spaceship taking off. I recognize. No, it's that it's 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 harmony. I can see uh, her sound. I don't know what that is. Oh, but... it's laptop. It's oh, up. that does sound like a laptop fan. Dude, it's maximum power. <gasps> My other laptop is working. I'm getting off of this shit. All right. Well, I guess we'll just keep waiting. Uh, that's fine. That's we'll end on that chipper smile. Look at that. Should we, God. Should we introduce our characters then? Yeah, so while we're taking time, let's introduce, so... Real quick, is oh. Kygo missing, or is that just my show? That's, that's just you. <laughs> you might have to refresh. Me. I'd refresh for you. Be... It's gonna be fun. Great job, Rose 20. It's fun. This is going uh, nice. Alright, so, while we're moving, alright. Okay. So, Charlotte, why don't you tell us a little bit about Tali? Well, Tali is a ranger. She's only like three feet tall. She's Why is a that? Tabaxi. She's a tabaxi. And, uh, I forget. What is it? What she is it? Looks like, she looks like what a tabaxi lynx. Is. Yeah, yeah, what is a tabaxi for those who don't know? Oh, oh okay. a tabaxi is a cat like person. Yeah, so it's kind of like an anthropomorphic cat. Yeah. Uh, and yours, I believe Lopez is the same. Yeah, it's like, it's like Chase's cat, except. What? Anthropomorphized. This is Tyler. Tyler. It could just be a Tyler <laughs> right here. But uh, both Tally and Kygo are lynx-like cats, so they're more big cats. Uh, so not more of house cats like his cat that he's petting right now. So onto that. I'm not a Russian blue. Lopez, why don't you tell us some more about uh, Kygo? Well, let's see what I start. Kygo is a cleric for the team. And while he doesn't normally do his job well, he tries well. his best to make sure no one dies. Except usually ends up having himself be the one that dies more often than yeah. No, he's not the tank at all. You weren't dead, you just went to hell. But what's the deal? He's been down twice. 
Shut up. Oh. Didn't you actually? did you actually have a good time over there? I thought we rolled for it and you had a good time. Yeah. I'm traumatized. Okay. <laughs> traumatized. <laughs> All right. With that, we'll move over. Luis, what about you? Who is Xerxes? Oh hi. Uh, I play Xerxes Timerick. He's a uh, half tiefling warlock. Uh, means that he kind of looks. He's got demon blood in him. I'm not. Uh, like, I don't know what else to say. He, he thinks he's super cool and you know, like amazing, but he's not. It doesn't help that he has a ring of confidence that gives him like a huge ego boost every time he does something great. Yes, he does. He still has that. Yeah, he still yeah, has it. Yeah, of course he does. And his lucky coin. Oh, and I have my lucky coin, dude, which I, I keep forgetting. I want to. You never use. Coin. <laughs> but um, because I don't want to lose it. It's a great coin. Before we move over to Chase, I find it very funny that Luis was upset that no one dressed up for the first recording, but he also did not fulfill his promise of getting a snowball to use for the recording. Is Wait, that what you're using? We were... yeah, oh, you have it. It's we just, a, it, it's just. That's apparently what Luis thought. Apparently, I. It's, it must just be an echoey room then, Luis. Yeah. Or he's not recording through that microphone, because that's not what that let me, microphone is. No. I gotta check my yeah, recording. Yeah, it sounds the exact same. Yeah. So while you're uh, checking that, yeah. we'll, we'll move over to Chase. Alright, so uh, my character is named Dradar. Uh, he's a dragonborn, a red dragonborn at the moment, to be specific. Uh, I'm playing as a paladin, a paladin of vengeance, the, the oath of vengeance. Uh, he's... He's out for uh, he's out for justice to right the wrongs that have been made against him and his family, uh, and he's uh, it's gonna get bloody with him. Kind I of a tank it, with some healing in there. I find it funny that he's a paladin, but he follows a path of vengeance, which it's an actual like. I, uh, I, I looked at it. I looked into it. It was it was really interesting cool. read. Like Kitty. Kitty, it's you're not frozen. as goody goody as you usually think a paladin would be. Like it's no, still no, like I'm, I'm a paladin because I want to get revenge and kill people. But I'm also a paladin, so like the kills I get are gonna be justified. It's like an insurance policy. Like you can kill whoever you want, but you can just go. Oh, it was it was justified. <laughs> it, there was a reason. There's a reason for this. Oh. I can promise you. Baby killer, by the way. It's a great story. Uh I'll yeah, my, uh, yeah. I think we'll go into the story right now. But my uh, he drowned a baby. His nickname is Baby Killer. It was a it was an abomination. It was a right? demonic baby. <laughs> it was a. Um, but I mean, it could have been raised to be good. It could have been raised for good deeds. I mean, maybe, but you know. Look at man! Look how excited the harmony is. I don't take that risk. <sighs> I mean, we did we did kill its dad too, so you know. Look at her undead eyes. Oh, no, no, like no, 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 you can take all this shit off. Well, I'll uh, oh, unless she can introduce herself right now. Nope. She's... Oh, oh, there oh, we go. Oh, there oh, we go. There we go. Arm, are you there? Where's she from? Oh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> this music is just comical enough for this. Just comical. <laughs> I want to get started. <laughs> I want to just play. I guess we're just going to dance. <laughs> oh, right at the end of the song. Just watch the chase dance. It's beautiful. Make, make this one a gif. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, come on, Harmony. I like how Harmony had a working computer and everything, and she's like, ooh, this one's working. I'll see you guys later. It's not like we've already been <laughs> waiting for 30 minutes. Louise, you transformed. <laughs> yeah, I thought since we got the you know recording out of the way, I could finally get back to my real self. Wow. Yeah, we got the recording out of the way, even though I'm still recording. What? We're recording the whole session. The whole right? session, fam. Oh fuck! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why are you on now? It's Put like on live streaming these. It's too. It's too late now. <laughs> I'm. I'm Harmony, are you there? Yeah. Okay. On, Why don't you way. introduce us to Iona? No. Um. Uh. Dude, doesn't even know shit about Iona. The last thing is hilarious. Um. Wow, she yeah, sounds so I'm interesting. Sorry. I just got on here. Uh huh. Exactly. Uh. Well, who is she? Her. How? Okay. Like, what? What class is she? What's her race? Oh. Okay, she. What is her goals in life? She's a rogue Azamar, you know. 
hatred against humans, general knowledge about her. Yep. Anything else? <laughs> no, that was the most Pretty exciting introduction. Hair. That was a way to cap <laughs> to just capstone okay. all of our okay. introductions. I just got back on. Okay. I know. <laughs> After you had a fully functioning more. computer, and you're just yeah. like, oh, never mind. I'm gonna go switch over. All right. I'm looking that up right now. I want to know too. And Asimar is uh, it's essentially like a like a Cambian, but instead of it being a demon and a human, it is a a god or a de or like a a prophet. Or I guess it's a, a, it's yeah. The, it's the polar opposite. Of right, yeah, it's it's the polar opposite. Here. We're about to have some problems there. <laughs> what? Polar opposites here. Yeah, they're just polar opposites. The Cambian, the Cambian was the baby thing I killed. Oh right. No. Yeah. So that, that's that's what. Oh my goodness, we're just having such a good time. Yo, what is it with? Oh, she's gone. She's Bye. leaving us now. She's left. Uh, bye. Yeah, she went. Robot. I just want to start. I just want to start. That's all I want to do. Uh, I just want to apologize for everybody. I didn't think we were recording the whole thing, but now. Oh. Really I just want to start. This <laughs> <laughs> no, the good news is she's moving in with now. me, so hopefully that won't oh, be yeah, a problem when she's here. Really on campus and, oh, we're oh, all yeah, college students. Right. Most well, of us are college students, so. Uh, Luis, you're still not recording from your snowball. Am I not? It says that I am not. There's no way. That does not sound like the snowball. Hmm. I want you to hold the snowball, like, right up real fast and talk, like, directly into it. Hi. No. Oh, okay. There's no way that's, there's yeah, no way that's no. the snowball. That thing is, I've used it multiple oh, times. That thing's, a, it's a, no. That's a very nice mic. Nope. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. Nope. Are you uh, ready to stay with us, Harmony? Off. Try turning off your other microphone input. Anybody That's my cam. Those are the cams. <laughs> Anybody <laughs> there? <laughs> She's frozen. We are right here. And <laughs> nice to meet you. Alright, I'm back. Alright, didn't change anything, but that's okay. Oh yeah. uh, fuck. I mean, oh uh, darn. Are you there? Oh, you're, yeah, run, you're running at like five frames a second here. Wow, I've got Xerxes, Kaigo, and Iona all frozen. Oh wait, nope, Kaigo's still here. Okay. No, he, <laughs> that's just that's just Lopez. <laughs> that's just. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Lopez still looks frozen. Uh, I'm literally right into oh, yeah. the fucking mic. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. Is it working yeah, now? Working. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Fine, fucking fantastic. I just had to reload the page once. You know, oh yeah, yeah, that was that's funny. exactly how Roll Twenty works. Yeah, you have to reload. <laughs> I guess. Like five times. Oh, is she running on great. beta? What is happening? She's never. The last time she was this glitchy is when she had to use her phone to play with us. <laughs> I remember that. That was such a funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Killian, I guess one thing we should address is like, what are what are the rules for these recordings and eventual live stream stuff? Like, do we have? Are we on cuss and watch? Like, we gotta watch what we say. I don't know what uh. Are we not allowed to use profanity? Yeah, I, we got, I might we have some objections there. Right so I already know we're gonna be doing some dark shit, cause yeah, yeah, this is dark shit. So it's not gonna be this is not gonna be a PG thirteen stream, but out of I tried to play Frozen, it didn't work. Go, it didn't work. <laughs> okay, I was thought, I sat was <laughs> <laughs> there for a long time and I was looking at myself. <laughs> um, so yeah, so as far as like streaming recording, yeah, I mean. I'm a very, like, I know you guys have already experienced a couple of my stories. I, I like very dark stories, and I like very, like, graphic things. So, and this is, this is you know, we're all killers in some way or another. Everyone, there's a lot of violence in D&D. &D. So, I'm all for that. I mean, I'll probably put, like, a disclaimer or some sort of overlay that says that this is a mature extreme. Not necessarily, like, graphic content, yeah. but definitely vulgar content. So, I'm all for, like... The, the vulgarity, um, as long as it applies to, like, why you're saying it, like, if it's a, as an insult or anything, but we don't need to, like, use, like, every fucking thing and every blah, 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 like. Fuck makes the best period. It, it, yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so it can happen. So, it, so just do your best, and I'm not going to call people out on it, because I just trust that everyone's just doing their best, so. I'll just throw out the warning now, and hopefully we'll just never have to talk about it again. Like, you guys just try and limit yourselves a little bit. Just be aware. That's essentially the best thing, is just be aware. 
Okay, guys, we need to take oh it. God. We Carl. need to take it to Paul De Negris and like take it down to like seventy five percent. Like yeah, like seventy five percent, Paul. You have Paul De Negris and then you have Sharon Bowman. Is your zero to one hundred? <laughs> Literally, that is your zero to one hundred. All right, but for I guess for now we we'll uh we'll, I'll do a re a recap. I'm pretty sure Harmony remembers what was going on last time, um, yeah. but I think it was. Xerxes, he didn't remember, so... No, I'm just really tired. I, I, yeah. I, I got caught up. Alright, so... Pretty sure. Let us... Recap. So, what happened last week was that our group had just finished uh, from the week before uh, the mystery that was Tywin, the small ghetto town, small abandoned town, and they brought all the children to where the rest of the parents and uh, what are known as lesser races, uh, races that aren't humans, dwarves, uh, Goliaths, essentially halflings, um, where they are now outside of the big city, Bifrost Bane, which the group is trying to get to, uh, to complete a quest to establish trade negotiations with the original town that they're from, Krupnik. Uh, for reference to those who will be watching or watching this, is, uh, this is session number nine, so we're still fairly early off. That we're, This is only the third town that they've been in been in so we're still pretty early um and welcome oh, back level, harmony so they are all characters are level four yeah all of our characters are level four um so now they are at the courtyard which is where a whole bunch of the lesser races um were exiled from the bifrost spain and they refused to leave so they pitched a tent essentially right outside and they are in this little courtyard area. It's very much a marketplace um, on this map. Once getting into the town, most of the children split and ran, knowing where they were going to go. A few stragglers stayed behind, because some, were unfortunately, parents were lost due to the experiences that you all found in the Tywin. Uh, upon trying to find the one of the children, uh, the Goliath daughter, or uh, you came across the Tiefling uh, daughter and her father, uh, Osmir, who you've discovered was one of the co-founders of the courtyard, and as gratitude, he wanted to grant you full access to the courtyard. You guys were able to stay here for as long as you need. Uh, you guys have access to food and other things, uh, and obviously to shop wherever you can. Uh, Dradar, you're not on that rock. Get away from that rock. <laughs> um, so you guys, it was a very lovely day of exploring the town, getting to know everyone. Um, learning a little bit of history about the courtyard. Then continuing on to find the daughter to try and help one of the children get to where they need to go. You uh, And with Osmir's help, you guys were escorted to uh, a, a very old Goliath by the name of Vishok, which you discovered later, who was a great adventurer and warrior of the uh, Great Hundred Years War that has happened in the past um, that helped bring victory against... Uh, many enemies, many great enemies in the past. Um, fun fact, V-Shock was my old character, which I'm so delighted to be able to play as again and interact with in this game. So the party discovered a lot about the history of how everything has kind of come into play in the present day. Uh, there's still a lot of stuff that they are trying to learn. Uh, a lot of questions from each of the party members are being asked. Like, I know Iona had some questions for V-Shock. Um, I know there's some connections with other characters that are a part of this. That we'll get into hopefully throughout the sessions uh, but for now the party had to establish what plan of action would be best to do would it be best to try and talk their way in through the guards and get in which probably wouldn't work to try and sink their way in to try and find a constructive solution uh to present to the king himself to get access or to just straight up start a war and try and get your way in um the constructive option was the most favored and you discovered that um, document that you guys had, a uh, map of an old tomb to one of the great dragons, Omar, was uh, just north of the city that you guys are going to have to go around the city to get to. And if you were to collect all of Omar's gold and present it to the king, he would most likely uh, lend his hand and aid and allow you ent uh, entrance to the city. So with that, you guys uh, went to the bar to drink uh, and had a heavy, heavy drinking uh, mostly between Jadar and uh, Vishak. Uh, Jadar went out and passed out on a rock. 
uh, before Xerxes dragged him away uh, to get back to the hotel. Tali and Iona had an intense staring contest. Uh, Kaigo was very sulking, and Xerxes was trying to find a maester, but unfortunately it was closed by the time. So we all went to bed, and we are getting ready for the next day. So that is where we are going to start. It is now morning, uh, currently 9 a.m. You guys have all woken up. Um, Jadar, you're a little hungover. It was definitely a festive night for you. Uh, so a little bit groggy. Uh, nothing that you probably haven't handled before or that you're not, you know, not unfamiliar with. Uh, Tali, you as well. I know you had uh, a little bit to drink. You're not so much as hungover. Just a, like there's still a little bit of a buzz left. Uh, Iona was clean on that. Uh, Kaigo was clean. So was Xerxes. But um, you guys all gather your gear and you guys can head out. So what's going to happen? You guys going to go straight to the... Uh, you guys going to go straight to V-Shock? Xerxes, were you still interested in going to see the Maester? Oh, yeah. I'm definitely interested okay. in going to see the Maester. So let's go do... Let's let's follow you. Go do that first. Do and, I remember uh, the, my attempt at conversation with... I got really one? blurry. Man, I got really blurry for some reason. <laughs> uh, considering I, uh, my head's a little pounding right now, I think I'm probably going to follow Xerxes over to the Maester. Okay. Uh, yeah, so... You, what was that, Tali, that you would remember what specifically? Do I remember my attempt at conversation with Iona? Yeah, you, yeah, you re, you definitely remember um, having this really, like, strong, like, staring contest and this strong interaction with her because it was it was something unique and weird because there was no, there was really no, it was a really weird conversation of very short words, very little words. Um, but yeah, so you definitely remember having, like, this weird interaction. All right. Um, but yeah, so Xerxes. So uh, I believe I said that the Macer's hut was this one. I think it was no, it was down to the south east. I think this one I think was yeah, that one. Yeah, 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 that'd be it. All right. So you go ahead and make your way over, and you see that the uh, the large window that would usually be closed it is open, and inside you see cages of uh, birds and other animals. Um, that assuming have been trained and domesticated to help with delivering messages and letters and such. Uh, the door is open, propped open, and people every now and then are walking out just from getting uh, service. And I like how you just, <laughs> it's your door, just walking <laughs> down. <laughs> way down, Cap. <laughs> oh, yeah, I should um, probably move a character over now that I think about it. Oh, yeah, let me, you know, before we do this, I'm going to show everyone. So there is Jadar the Dragonborn. We have Iona, the Asimar, uh, Kaiga with his meme cat, uh, Talia with her not meme cat, her really chill cat, uh, and Xerxes, the tiefling. Mm -hmm. There's also Trapper on this list, which uh, Trapper was uh, an old old party member. And I guess not even old, this party's not even old, but it was my old character before I took over, so I still keep him in here. Mm -hmm. Because I never know when they're going to run into him. Alright, so you make it in. Uh, the last person who was being helped by this maester, who you see is a, a, a young halfling character. Mm -hmm. um, dressed in very, you know, th thick brown robes. Um, short hair. Uh, just short brown hair. And he is, uh, he just uh, said goodbye to someone as they were walking out. And he sees you walking in. He says, oh, hello. Oh. Good morning, sir. How can uh, I help you? I'm hoping you can deliver a letter for me. Well, I have, yes, of course. Um, do you have the parchment written out? Do you require parchment to write a letter? Oh no, I I, I have it written out. Okay. So I hand over I hand over a letter, okay. and it's uh, to uh, to his parents, telling him about all his adventures. Yeah, okay. Xerxes' parents. Okay. Telling about all these adventures and whatnot, and then, uh, is it alright if I also include some coin inside the, inside the letter? Oh, uh, to send it back to the parents? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Right. He just has to get a, gonna... a bigger bird to carry some, yeah. some weight. Yeah, that's exactly what I was like, if it's a, it's, if it's birds, I don't know if it'll, it'll, yeah. they'll be able to take my, uh, my letter. And I just, before I... How much is it? To, how much is it going to be to send this letter? Well, um, because you're adding a little bit of weight, 
uh, it is going to cost a little bit more, um, you know, shipping and handling and all that jazz. Uh, yeah. It's going to come out to about uh, 25 gold. All right, I hand him. Okay, I hand him 25 gold. Okay, thank you. And, and he, he takes I'm it going... and he, he uh, puts it on a shelf. And then I'm going to dump the rest of my gold inside that letter. So now gotcha. I'm officially broke. <laughs> Woo! That's now the way I to start. No I am not broke. Hey, the only way to go no is money. up. Unless you somehow accrue debt from somebody and you owe people, then you can go down. Let's not have that happen. Considering how his financial status has been going this game, I Dude, would I have a horse. No, they don't know. I have a horse, by the way. I have a horse. Yeah, yeah. Xerxes oh, wasted... Oh, yeah. Bitching horse. Oh, Cersei wasted like half his money on a horse and almost oh, bought a God. carriage. He tried to he, he tried to so swindle waste. He tried to swindle your waste. friends to purchase into a carriage. I think first of all, they were totally down. But then we it was spent that money. entire so session fighting about that. So yeah. it wasn't swindling anybody. And we're not about to spend this session fighting now, so we're gonna move on. <laughs> he he takes your letter, um, along with like uh with, with his heft and he uh he wraps it a little bit more. In a special, uh, special thick, like leather, essentially mm -hmm. to make sure nothing falls out. He ties it up, and he takes it behind the back, uh, because there's like a wall, and he goes through a door. He takes it behind the back, uh, and he comes back fairly quickly. He probably just set it down for now, and he's like, "I will uh, have your message arranged." Oh, where am I sending it to? Uh, it would be to Tilmont. Tilmont. Okay. Uh, I'll take a look at my maps, and I will make sure that is delivered. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, no, that'd be it. Ah, uh, uh, I had something. Yes, my dragonborn friend. How can I help you? I have a, uh, a pounding in my head after a <laughs> rather long night of celebration. You have anything that may assist my ailment? Um, this is a, this is a macer. Uh, <laughs> he, 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 the postal man has bills. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, really, he... I don't know if they have uh, aspirin for you. I don't know if they sell aspirin. He he takes a moment to think, and he shakes his head. He's like, "Oh, are just like the doctors too?" Uh, I mean, this is definitely more of a messenger. I I, I can I can see that there are maesters uh, that also. Oh, it's building maesters, that. dude. I don't know how the hell you've been saying I'll it. Like I'm shoot just thinking post. I don't know. I'll shoot I've, been, like, I've been taking a Game of Thrones style where the maesters are like logistics. Well, this maester specializes in something else. Okay, Dradar. <laughs> He specializes in animal handling, where he can tame many animals to help him deliver things. Ooh, that's dope. You give me a, can I buy a wolf off you? <laughs> so oh, he... I'm, I'm a little intrigued about this. Oh now. my god. It would kill your horse, Xerxes. Don't you don't know that. Right. I want to buy it even more now. <laughs> I don't have... I'm not going to buy it from me. It's so... For, I, you're not even there, Iona. Shut the hell up. So, but you, He looks you at you... Hang on, hang on. So Jajar, he looks at you and he says, uh, unfortunately, sir, I don't have any sort of ailment for that. Um, there is a, uh, a small medicine shop on the other side of the river that I could point, uh, that I could point you in the direction of if you, uh, need. Ah, yes, that would be, that would be fantastic. Okay. Um, if you, have the you pounding met... is only getting worse the longer I'm around Xerxes. <laughs> have you, okay. you didn't uh... have to come along. I don't know why you did. Have you been to the ale house? I'm assuming you have, due to your your headache, if that is what it's from. Yes. What? Uh, well, conveniently, right across the street is a uh, little shop where they sell such things to help with such an occasion. Ah, right next to my favorite rock. Excellent. <laughs> You're. Uh, yes, I'm sure it is. Is there anything else I can help with your view with? I'm fine. I, I believe I will be on my way. Good luck with your letters and such, Xerxes. Alright. Yeah. With that, Jadar walks away. Are you walking away as well, Xerxes? Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Before we part ways, I want to be like, Jadar, do you have any healing potions that I gave you? Or are you uh, out? I, I do, actually. I do believe I... Hold on, how many do I have? It's good use of a healing potion on a freaking hangover. Uh, I have um, one. I have a great healing potion. Okay, then I I I was under the assumption that you had ran out. Then never mind. Never mind. You don't uh, need that. I shit. assumed that you were out. No, because I. Nah, I I've got one, and I can do healing with magic and stuff. I'm all good. Yeah. Just right. use magic to cure your own hangover. All right, and then I. Just, <laughs> That's actually. All right. Well, good luck with I your. 
I and I and then I want to just uh, cast thermo what am thermo I doing? on myself. I, I am a paladin. Yeah. I think I actually can just. You can cast. You're gonna cast cura cura of what you, uh, hangover. Please well, tell me you can't. So Xerxes, what are you doing? So you're casting thermoclergy. When what are you gonna yeah, do? Thermoclergy. Thermaturgy. And I'm just gonna boom my voice three times louder and yell in Drudar's ear, Good luck with your hangover! And then just walk away. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Drudar, you just hear this sudden ear splitting earthquake in I, your drums. I, as fast as I can, I slap my uh, my hands over my ears and I use, uh, I cast Lay on Hands. Go ahead and roll a uh, deck saving throw <laughs> so you see how quick you can. Uh, you can catch yourself. <laughs> okay. So okay. So what are you doing? Uh so I'm just using lay on hands. I believe I can use uh 5 points of my 15 points of lay on hands to just dis to just get rid of any okay. like ailment on me. I'm going to check up the exact rules on that. Although we I don't there's no exact rules for having a hangover either, so it's I'm mostly, sure for this we can let it go. It's mostly fluffy, but all right, so yeah, Jadar, you hear the sudden booming of "good," luck, and then by that point, you're like, "Oh no, nope, I don't need to. I don't need to hear all that." And you just hear this muffled "look like your head horn," but you, you know, mumble to yourself to cast uh, "lay on hands." And uh, after about 20, 30 seconds of just trying to like hold your ears and concentrate, you feel light uh, lightness come back to your head. Uh, no more droning pressure on your skull, and you seem to be relieved of your hangover. Oh. It's feeling much better, actually. Thanks. I'm over here. What are you talking about? I'm all over here. I'm already at the hotel. What? You were just talking to me. <laughs> I like how fat. You fucking sprinted away from him. You were like, you yelled, and you are like, oh, 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 he's gonna kill me. <laughs> he's gonna kill me. Good luck with your hangover. You ding dong ditched him. It took him forever. Alright. So. Is the rest of the group ready, or would they like to do anything else before we head over? So, I don't know. Did you say that there were closed shops nearby? Uh, yes, there's a there's a variety of shops uh, in the in the uh, marketplace. Okay, I would like to, because you said they were like down in the southwest region, right? Yes. I'm going to walk my happy ass over there and see exactly what stores are open and available. Okay. Uh, because it's, you know, already by this point, like, 930, uh, it's, most of them are open, uh, if not all of them. And there are a frequent amount of people. And like I said, because this city is right in front of, it's only a couple miles away from the front gates of the Bifrost Bane, it gets a lot of traffic. And so you're having to push your way through as the travelers have already gone from the break of dawn to, uh, to get in, either into the city or to leave the city. Yeah, so they're cutting through and they're stopping at the shops. So you're having to push by quite a amount of people. But um, you see that a lot of the shops are open. You see, uh, I don't know what specifically you're looking for, but there are definitely differences in shops between fine crafted leathers, um, exotic fabrics, uh, and such like that. There's not so much anything armor related. Again, because of the city's guards, quote unquote, protecting the people, they don't really have a place that is, I mean, it's not very legal for them to sell their own weapons or to make weapons. Um, and all the same thing with armor, because the king's guards believe that they are all the protection they need. So if you're looking for anything armor-related, they don't have that. But as far as, like, leathers and other things, sure. And by leather, um, I mean, like, you know, leather, like, accessories. Nothing that would be, like, hefty and gotcha. protective. Um, no, I think I'll just go to the leather shop. Okay. Just because I really... There's... Aside from the kid, myself, and Tully, there's none of my kind here, and I don't really feel comfortable showing that off. You don't feel comfortable showing off yourself? So I'm going to try and go in to purchase, like, a hood and maybe some sort of cloak that I can hide the damn tail. In. Okay, so a leather cloak and hood. Um, for the sake of time, uh, go ahead and roll an investigation. Oh, Jesus. Let's see your, let's see your window shopping skills there, Kaigo. Investigation. Hey, you, th you get the low numbers out now. All right. So this is what I'll do for you, Kaigo. So uh, it took it took a good 10, 15 minutes of just shifting through everything. But you eventually found uh, a leather uh, hood and coat. But it is 
quite expensive at about 250 gold pieces uh, just because of this the stitching and the designs that are on it uh, it's quite hefty and it appears to be maybe a little bit too small for you just by a little bit I'm gonna walk inside and talk to the store owner okay um, again getting past to the back of the store um, and the store you're in is this one right here um, you walk into the store uh, and or you walk through the store and you get to the back and you see someone who is manning a counter uh, who's just helping someone pay <clears throat> you see a uh, excuse me you see an, uh, an elf um, not a snow elf this is a regular uh, an actually a woods elf and uh, manning the counter uh, female and she is uh, helping pay you know or helping someone pay for their clothes and they start to walk away she's like thank you so much have a nice day um, she sees you approaching, and she's like, hello, how can I help you? Hi, I, uh, hmm, how do I say this? Do you do custom tailoring? Uh, well, of course, it takes a little bit on the order, but yes, we can manage something. Well, what are you looking for? Mm, well, other question is, how long will it take for a simple resize? A resize, uh, depends on if you're trying to get it larger or smaller. Larger. Larger, that can that takes a little bit longer. Um, I, it probably would take me about uh, a week, week and a half, uh, just depending on the intricacy of your uh, of the, what you want resized. What are we looking at? I was looking for a hood, a cloak. Let's see, are you had? Do you have the item on you, or did you just walk over by yourself with it, or with it? Okay. Yeah, just to ask questions first. Okay. Um. Well, let's see. Um, if there's an item in the store that you were interested in, I can try and resize it for you. Uh, we don't have a lot that are both a hood and a cloak uh, combo with leather. Um, there's other fabric places that do that, but as far as leather accessories, we don't do a lot of that. Um, I'd be more than happy to tailor one for you. That would take about two weeks uh, to do as well. It's a much better fitting, uh, more of a custom design for yourself. Um, so, again, that is all up to you. Uh, or I can try and resize an item that you found. I think I have a couple in here. Uh, I'll just stop her. I'll thank her for her time, and I'm just going to leave. Uh, I wish I could be more help. I hope you find what you're looking for. And with that, she uh, someone comes up, and she starts to help pay for that. Okay. I'm going to just exit back. All right. So, anyone else would like to do anything special? Are we ready to head out? Uh, can I find Iona? You want to find Iona, Cersei's? Yeah. Oh my god, Kai goes so fast! <laughs> oh fuck, where'd you go, dude? I, I made this circle because I can't find you, and then you're just gonna dis- God damn, now I gotta find you again. <laughs> Alright, so, <laughs> it's like a- it's like light speed. You can never so, find him, where'd you go? Uh, so, uh, walking back, Cersei's, uh, you see- when you were walking back from the uh, maester, you see that the group, uh, besides Kaigo, they were all outside, like, getting their bags ready to go. Um, excuse me. And Iona's there, so I don't know what you're going to say, but whatever you're going to do or say, she's outside uh, with Tali. I don't know, can I speak to you for a minute? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, right. I don't know. <laughs> what? what? Oh, just... Okay. I want to just pull her off to the side for like a quick second just to have a quick talk. So, just answer me this one question. Oh god. Because we, we both know we hate each other, so the quicker we get this done, the better. <laughs> but are you coming on, are you going to be staying with, with us for the foreseeable future? For the record, for everyone <laughs> watching the future, Iona came, uh, joined the party a few sessions later, and her character had nothing to do with the party's mission. And so after helping co solve the mystery of Tywin, she's now kind of in this state of, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, and these people are kind of dragging me along, and so she doesn't know how to react to it. So, giving you context on that. Where are you guys going next? We're going to go to Omar's tomb to get some gold. So we can get inside the city. I haven't decided yet. Well, we're leaving today, so... We'll probably okay. be very soon. Alright. I, I understand that you 
don't want me to come along, but... No, it's not okay. the question. Okay, uh-huh. I have to and go talk to someone way. anyway, so... Oh, bye. Wait, wait, can I... <laughs> I, I, I grab her by the hand so she can't leave. Uh, that's not... That's I need not what Xerxes talking. make a dexterity check, and I want to make a saving throw to uh, avoid his hand that he tries to grab you. As dexterity? Yeah. Right? Oh, great. Because yeah. she doesn't have, already have fucking advantage on that. <laughs> I thought he was having to roll to uh, dodge that sick burn. Oh, snap. <laughs> Alright. Oh, man. Alright, so Xerxes, you kind of reach out, but it's that sweet classic cliche of, like, her arm's just, just far enough away. I just missed it. And, yeah, and, missed it. and Iona walks away uh, to follow Tali across uh, the bridge to get to V-Shock's place. Um, well, then I walk over to Tali and say, hey, Tali, how many potions do you have left? <laughs> There's just I don't all think over I have any. Tali, run. Oh, really? Right. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give her both my... Wait, can you check for me real quick, Tali? Alright, I'm huh? going to hand her both my... Maybe she's lying to you. I'm going to have her hand her both of my potions. I'm going to say, here, one's for you. And give one to Iona. Just so okay. we have something to eat. And that'd be it. They just blend potions, not greater. So they're right? greater healing potions, they're the only ones I have. Oh, and they are greater. Yeah. Alright, are we all ready? Yep. Alright, so, the group makes their way over to V-Shock's house, which is over here. Uh, heading up, uh, and knocking on the door. Uh, it takes a couple minutes, but V-Shock, uh, steps out. Um... He has on, uh, so he's not wearing anything on, um, uh, he's not wearing a shirt or anything as usual, uh, still showing off all his, his scars and his very muscled but old frame. Um, he has, uh, leather pants on, um, and with that he has some satchel bags, uh, just a small, uh, some small ones on his sides where he probably keeps, uh, whatever essentials he needs. Uh, he has a burlap sack to help carry, and on his back but also strapped to his back is his large uh double head uh double or double bladed axe uh wire axe and in the burlap sack it looks like a rectangular box is in the burlap sack um he looks at you guys um as you guys are all waiting outside i like how everyone's slowly walking over with their carriage <laughs> oh. I, mean, we're doing so I guess i might as well catch up then <laughs> Hey, Iona, hey. here's a greater healing. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> hey, I found Kygo. No, shut up. Where is he? Where is he? Point him out. Click. <laughs> oh, he's hiding in the tree. <laughs> like a cat. Anyways, um, he looks at all of you um, as he's holding this burlap sack. And uh, he looks at you, Xerxes, and he says, Are you bringing horse? Oh, yeah. Good. <laughs> Why not? I have cart to attach to horse. Oh, dang. See? Yeah. You guys always <laughs> talking shit about my fucking horse. Look at this. Say he, you know wanted what? to buy a cart, and now there's cart? He, he walks you guys... Shut up, that, so shut up. He walks you guys around <laughs> to the side of his house, and uh, there's just like a very, you know, very simple wooden cart, uh, but it has uh, two extended uh, limbs to attach to, like, straps or to hooks. And there is a old saddle or old sort of rigging system that is hanging on it. And he mm. he takes the saddle and he hands it to you, Xerxes. So he's like, here, put this on horse. Okay. And I just go walk up to Ashrod and I'm just, you know, I talk to her, put it on, make okay. sure she's all calm and ready for the day. He picks up his, uh, his wagon, essentially, or his cart, and he brings it over and he starts latching it on. And so now uh, Ashrod has a lovely wooden cart. Uh, a little wobbly on the wheels. It's a very old cart, very simple, crafted, and uh, but now you guys have something to store the gold in if you ever make it. Oh yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> with that, he looks at all of you. Uh, one last time, he's like, "Are we ready?" As ready as yeah. we Yep. Let's walk. <laughs> Let's go fucking get this gold. Uh. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. How get... about uh, Xerxes? You let Iona sit on the horse. Say we're going to do it. That's not how. That's not how it works, you idiot. Nah, it doesn't matter. That's not how a fucking cart works. Shut Here. up, Kyle. I'll make you not be broke so you can buy food later. 
And you let her kill You don't even know I'm broke, so shut up, Kygo. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Alright. I don't know, I don't know I was, like, trying All to right. hide her excitement of, like, being able to ride a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Here. Not here. I'll give you fifty gold. All right, are we ready to go? I'll ride the horse. Are we ready to go? <laughs> Where's this going? It's just not how. Right. It's not how a cart <laughs> works. You idiot! Yeah, you, you sit you, on the cart. You don't need to sit on the cart. She so can sit on the horse. Fine, Iona, sit on. I guess you can sit on Ashra. Whatever, it's fine. There we go. There we go. Oh, if you yeah, insist. Oh, so, the okay. so the group begins to advance <laughs> north. <laughs> And it takes about, uh, oh, about, it, <laughs> it, I know, I it's about, uh, 10, 15, 10, 20 before you guys eventually, uh, get, uh, you guys have walked a couple miles and you guys get to the main gate to the Bifrost Bain. Ooh. So you guys have, so you guys oh, well. have, you guys have walked the path. You guys are just a little bit on the outside. Um, so like you guys are a little bit, probably about 50 feet away from them and the guards see you guys coming, but. Um, I mean, they're seeing everyone leaving. There's a bunch of people leaving and entering the, uh, the front gate. But he kind of, V-Shock stops as he gets, uh, about 50 feet away from the gate. And he turns to all of you and he's like, this is the main gate. Okay. That looks intimidating. Very We're not intimidating. going through here, though, right? No. But, okay. I wanted to show you. I'm guessing they keep that garrison posted 24-7? Yes. And he, uh, you, you see that, um, it's been pretty lax. Like, the guards are standing at attention, but because, you know, it's very easy to, to identify between those who are approved to enter the city and those who are not approved, um, they're not very, uh, they're not very, you know, attentive to, like, actually paying attention. Uh, Tali, go ahead and roll me a, uh, perception. Tali, so you notice that uh, up on the up on the higher elevation up here, uh, that the archers, a couple of the archers, have taken notice of you guys. They're not like taking aim or anything, but they just see that there are the not approved uh, visitors, and they you just see them taking glances at you. You might not want to get too much closer. What? Why? Like Xerxes is right fucking there. <laughs> I didn't notice that. Uh, is there, so if I, I just, I just, I just, I just randomly put them down. That's how this okay. one we got. I'm gonna put you guys up back here. Humans have an itchy trigger finger. I'm gonna put you guys back uh, there, unless you'd like to go closer. But um, yeah. So why are you over there by the tree? Kind of doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah. Oh, I have, I have a V shock one. I forgot. I can do that now. The V chat. The V chat. Hang on. Let me put him over here so I can move him. There you go. All right. So, uh, he points over to the left side, uh, and he's like, we will walk trail to the left. Work around the wall. Oh, I just saw these spikes. Some pretty intense spikes down there. Yeah, pretty intense. But yeah, um, so he, V-Shock starts to make his way to the left, um, uh, and making his way to the left side. I just wanted to see if anyone was going to do anything, so, but to also show you guys the gate. As well, I just want to like wave to one of the guards, like "Good morning, <laughs> good work there, gentlemen." Who are you waving? Who are you waving? Good, good job, work. keeping us waving. out. Good job, uh, <laughs> good job oppressing the people. You're, yeah. you're, you're doing a great job. Way to just follow us. Sure. Are you are you actually saying what, what are you actually saying, Xerxes? Are you actually doing anything? I'm just like good morning. How okay. Are you doing? Uh, whole lot of not humans here. Better keep this rabble yeah. out. Shut That's the fuck <laughs> Don't worry, sir. I'm staying over here. <laughs> I know uh, my place. The guards just the, the guards just look at you, Xerxes. Um, they don't do anything. They don't say anything, but they just look at you, uh, making sure that you're not trying anything funny. Oh, wow. Just well, they're very serious. So early in the morning. <laughs> I mean, they kind of have to be. True. I mean, so well, you guys eventually make your way. Uh, anti everything else. And then we all just make our way left, right? Yeah. So you guys, uh, guess what? I get to, I get to introduce, I get to introduce you guys to a new zone. So instead of me having to say, like, all right, let's all use our imaginations and all this crap, um, I've actually, I've actually, I've actually, I've actually made a map to put you guys on. 
um, when we're in these sessions. So welcome to the new imagination board. <laughs> Um, Great. <laughs> so whenever, whenever, so much. <laughs> whenever we have to put our thinking caps on, uh, this is where we'll go to uh, to think. Uh, Jadar is gone. <laughs> I need a minute. Dude, I wish I had a box to go into right now. Fuck, that'd be great. So, so you guys walk. Uh, you guys walk for a few hours, um, and soon enough, you guys. I like just fucking around. You guys, uh, you guys walk for a few hours. Um, V Shock's kind of drifting you guys a little bit farther away from the wall. But you, uh, when you're looking at the wall, it's just this tall behemoth of, of a enforcement i mean it's stone stacked for a good 60 feet there's uh every about about every 10 feet on the wall there's an archer uh just standing at the ready and it seems if you try and walk, look at the uh look at stretch of the horizon it literally just goes until you can't see it anymore um so v shock eventually takes you a little bit deeper into the forest um and you guys are walking would anyone like to discuss anything or do anything Right, right hey, now, it's about about noon. Were you about to tell me something last night, like, right before I passed out? What? I don't remember. I feel like you were, but I don't remember. Roll a deception, Maybe. Iona. <laughs> I probably wouldn't have made you do that, but you're, you're just like, what? I don't remember. <laughs> it was just so believable that I have to make it. Oh, okay. Geez, All right. Yeah. I'm All right. So innocent. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. We're gonna keep, we're okay. Gonna keep... <laughs> okay. You, you were pretty. You were pretty um, wasted last night. Yeah. I guess so. Had to had to carry right. you back. Oh, did you? Is that how I got there? Thanks for that. Did well, someone um, carry me? I don't oh, know yeah. how I got I, back I got either. I, I, also I me. I, I, no. You? I only, no, she, no, it was me, Jadar. It was the guy with the horse. The I need I need Iona and Xerxes ah, to roll persuasion. It's all I want to see who Jadar oh, believes you, more. No, she was oh, yeah, yeah, rolled, uh oh. Xerxes, you gotta you gotta roll. Let's see if you could beat a four. Persuasion? Yeah. Rolls that right. one. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're true. Uh, a horse. The horse does make sense. Yeah. No offense, Iota. I am almost 400 pounds with my armor. Yeah, I don't. I don't think any of us can carry you, Jadar. I mean, we almost all died because you fell down the bridge. Remember that time? That was crazy, right? Giant <laughs> ass spider was, thing. You. None of you were at risk. None of you were at risk. Well, you didn't help that you <laughs> weren't just... climbing up. You just had us there just trying to... You just laid yeah, you there. You were just dangling there I tried waiting to for us to climb. Fire and up. it, like, 90% worked. He didn't do right. it. He didn't climb at all. It's like Indiana Jones in there. You don't even... And well, you know what? The past know. is the past. <laughs> so, about reaching lunchtime, uh, V-Shock takes a rest uh, and suggests that we should try and hunt for food. Um... He looks over at you, Tali, seeing your bow. You got it. And, on it. <laughs> and he, uh, meanwhile, he just sits down on a, a fallen tree log. And he uh, just starts to take, he, uh, he reaches into his satchel and he has like a little sharpening kit. And he just sits there and starts sharpening his blade. Um, I want to just start taking shots with my cross my crossbow at some trees to try some to get trees. better at using it yeah go ahead and roll oh man what would that be oh, oh i hear it i hear it lopez hears it it's coming <laughs> that is the for those who don't know what that is uh lopez is a an, an ra at, at our dorms <laughs> and uh i used to be one as well before i graduated but um that that ringtone is the bane of our existence because it is the 24 7 ra hotline phone that one person gets per day and unfortunately lopez is getting it on our D, &D day uh roll a uh athletics athletics yeah all right and where is that found it nope that's no, there it is. I'm thinking of one. 
Be right back. One second. Whew. Almost would have got a so, zero. So, <laughs> so, oh, so, so seriously, you load up your crossbow, and you're just like, yep, uh, it's going to be so cool. And you just shoot it, and you just, like, in the forest, you hear, and that's all you hear is just this empty air as the arrow just travels through air, and you don't know where it went as you just whiff the tree. Okay. Are you going to try and load another one? Oh, uh, I'm going to keep going. You're going to keep going? All right. Yep, this is why we practiced. This is why we practiced, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead and roll again. While he's doing that, is anyone else going to do anything? Well, I went out hunting, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, are you going to do anything? you just kind of hanging out? Jesus yeah. almighty. <laughs> it's not Nat. I, I will say, it's it's yeah. not Nat. I will I say that. Yeah. Uh, so there again, like, you just loaded up. You're like, all right, you know. That was a flimsy shot, but at least I know where the target it, and you just <laughs> it shoots to the other side of the tree. So you just went like left side the first time, then you went to the right side the next time. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. This is the time. This is the all right. Time. The time is now. The time is now. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. There it is. Seriously, so he's just kind of fuming. You're just like third time's the charm. That's all I gotta tell you. Third time's the charm, and you finally hit the tree. Uh, not dead in the center, but pretty much uh like in about the seventy five percent. Uh, area of the tree. Well, I'm, I'm, just for time's sake, I'm going to be doing that through, yeah. throughout the so, entire time. So, versus your, I know I was going to average you out at three. So your hits aren't the best throughout the rest of your training, but you are hitting the tree at this point uh, yeah. in a variety of different central points. Um, Tally, go ahead and roll a. Uh, what did I have you roll before? Survival, right? Yeah, I think it's yeah. survival. Go ahead and roll survival. And we'll see uh, what you bring back. Oh damn! Oh, oh man. Tolly, like it's you're not even gone for probably about twenty minutes before the group starts hearing you walking back and you have uh probably you have about six rabbits dangling from a from a rope uh that you've just snagged. All of them have very precise kill shots uh into their chest where their heart is, and uh you all come back. Um there is no fire. Unless I unless someone would want to build the fire before. Uh, no, nobody, nobody I was tried the fire. to do that. I oh, guess. you were going to? Go ahead and roll pro, uh, survival there, okay. Ayana. Hold oh, up, okay. I'm on it. Oh, okay. Oh no, yeah, Jadar has fire breathing. That's one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you get advantage, Jadar, because you're a fire breather. You can basically light anything on fire to create a oh, fire. Oh, no, he just he just drawing on SpongeBob. Never mind. Oh, oh, I will also do the, the <laughs> fire breath thing. That's also a good idea. <laughs> I'm on it. He's <laughs> drawing. <laughs> <laughs> you want to roll? <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. Wait, hold on, wait, Jadar, just be careful because we don't need you to burn down the, the forest while we're in. Crash time. You have advantage. Uh, wait, what am I actually rolling? Survival. Okay, survival for yeah. using my breath weapon. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Okay. Yeah. Jadar, you, uh, you, basically you see Iona, like, she's, like, gathered a bunch of sticks and woods from the, from the forest, and she's, like, sits down in front of the log that uh, V-Shock was sharpening his blade. And she's like, all right, time to get to work. And you just kind of step, you're like, all right, I'm just going to help cut down the time on this. And you, uh, it's almost like Iono built a sandcastle and was so proud of herself before the wave came over and knocked it down. You just came over. Like, she was like, she built all the sticks and stuck, stacked them up in the triangle. And she's like, yeah. And you just started it for her and just, like, destroyed all the fun of making the fire. <laughs> I, give, I give her a thumbs up. I feel like like a little like a nine year old who just had their popsicle melt on the floor. They have like that pouty like. Yeah. <laughs> Kaigo, are you doing anything on this time? Uh, uh, I'm snapping I out. Saved of, you time. Uh, my, my, my my days, and I'm um. Just gonna I'm walk off to the horse. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing, Lopez? <laughs> I was snapping out of my days and setting up a bedroll. After. Okay. All right, bedroll. Staring off into the. Yeah, it's lunchtime. <laughs> it's lunchtime. You're just gonna. Chill. He's tired. He wants He's tired. to take a nap. <laughs> it was a it was a long walk. <laughs> Why don't I? Wait, wait, are you laying it on the floor or what are you doing? Um, I'm gonna put the bedroll back away. <laughs> no, I'm like, okay. He just, I he, see, so like, get the yeah. Bedroll. So He's everyone. So of, at, as you can, if you want to take a nap, you might as well take it in the back of the car. You just so. you guys just see Kaigo. He like reaches into like a pack and he's like, ah. And roll that back up. Just put that away. <laughs> <laughs> gotta make sure it's on. Gotta keep it loose. Yeah. Gotta get it. Gotta make sure it's ready. Gotta get that dirt out. <laughs> press the wrong button and 
in his inventory and he's just stuck in the animation. Like, oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I put it back. Oh, it takes forever. But yeah, so. <laughs> I'm going to look at everyone's. You're like. Take a nap. <laughs> what? So. If you want to take a nap, you can take a nap in the back of the cart. You know what? I don't need the cart. I don't, I don't <laughs> need the cart. So, Tali, you bring the rabbits over. Um, yeah. And, uh. <laughs> are you going to skin them yourself? You did. Yeah. All right. So, Tali, you go ahead and you easily easily skin them. Um, you're having a good day for hunting today. I hope everyone has good rolls today. And you, you skin your you skin the rabbits. What are you talking about? Do you not see these twos and ones? You should get the yeah get the twos and ones out now. That's you want to get them all out now. Zero. Yeah, you did you did get a zero. It's actually a nat one that got reduced to a zero. <laughs> <laughs> what was that for? What was that for again? Athletics. Man, you sh I probably would have made you shoot yourself because you got a zero with the nat one. You probably would have oh shot. It. That doesn't uh, make any sense. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, Tali, you go over and you skin them. Um, and some of the sticks that I want to brought over, you can use as pokers to um, to get the the meat on to basically cook it like marshmallows almost. Because there's no really, there's no like rotisserie device to help cook it evenly, so everyone's kind of on their own. So everyone, go ahead and roll uh, survival to see if you are good at cooking your food. I'll roll these shucks. Oh, this is horrible. I will... Why would you do this? Oh, dude, fucking. Oh yeah, never mind. Just fuck whatever I said. So amazing. It starts with Kaigo, right? Or was it Tali? It was. Who's it start with? It was... It was... Oh. It's Iona. Wait. Or Jadar. No, no, there it is. Okay, so it starts with Iona. So Iona, like, easily, nice nice golden brown meat uh, has been has been crushed. It's got a nice firm outer layer with very juicy in middle. Um, very, very tasty. Very tasteful. Oh, so medium well. Me no, what? No. Like a nice medium rareish. Oh. Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> Tolly, um... Riding your high horse of hunting, you uh, you kind of leave it in there a little bit too long. Um, yours is kind of she has more. Sits there watching it burn. It, it's not like a, it's not more as firm as it is a bit crunchy. Uh, it's not charred, but it is it is uh, a bit crunchy to the taste. Um, the meat's a little. It's not so tender on the inside. It's a little chewy. Uh, for your My rabbit. My favorite. <laughs> Kygo. That's uh, what you need to tell yourself. Yours is yours is pretty good. Um, uh, you know, nice medium well, rabbit, just the way that you like it. <laughs> uh, Xerxes, I mean, you know, Gordon Ramsay would be so proud of you that you cooked a rabbit <laughs> with the primitive technology into the such a, a in the lamb sauce <laughs> into such a in such a into such a delicacy, uh, very golden brown. Uh, I mean, you can even you can boast. You can, but yeah, it's going off. You can boastfully tell yourself that your golden brown is a better shade of golden brown to Iona's just by that much because it's just that much better. Um, I mean, the math's right there. Like, but <laughs> yo, I got a nat twenty. You can't argue with the dice, or right, anything. And that's the that's the one thing. V shock. Uh, I mean, a veteran of having to survive in the woods, he easily. Uh, cooks his as uh, to what he to what temperature he wants it to be, and he starts munching away on it. Jadar, um, not having used to uh, cooking such a small animal. Uh, a little crispy. Yeah, it's a little little crispy for you. A little crunch, a little bit. That's fine. Everything I cook is crispy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you guys eat well. Um, you guys gonna you guys want to talk about anything, do anything, uh, or we can move. Thanks, Tally, for getting us all the food again. Be shock nods yep. as well. All right. If that's it, then we'll move on to the next section that has a map. So, Actually, you guys. Uh, oh, what's I up, sir? I want to turn to shock. Okay. Uh, so, what can you tell us about what happened in Omar's lair or tomb? What should we expect on our way there? He uh, he takes <clears throat> his food away as he's thinking. He kind of lets out this like groan of th thought. He's like, hmm. I was not a part of party who raided Omar's tomb uh, uh, as Osmir would be better for explaining uh, a battle that was fought for many days in such a small uh, environment uh, many died victory was won but was short-lived as 
goblin reinforcements came and took back the cavern. And they were either pushed out or killed. I wouldn't imagine taken prisoner. Uh, but it was victory nonetheless. So we should expect goblins when we get to the lair? Well, that was about 12 years ago. I don't know what lives in this tomb anymore. It could be. There's been some time for things to move in. Mm, yeah. How long is it going to take us to get there? We're only about a day and a half out. Oh, okay. It's just so a little north. All right, then. So I suggest we should get moving. Anyone else have anything? All right, so we move. You guys, uh, you guys put out the fire, uh, finish up your rabbit, pack all your stuff. Uh, v Shock puts his burlap sack into your cart for now, seriously, or into his cart for now, uh, so he doesn't have to carry it. And you guys start making your way north up the forest. You guys get uh, it takes about a couple hours, and it's about 4 p.m. And you guys come across. Oh no. This trail, so you guys have been following this trail, and oh, so let me, so, here. you guys are, if I can zoom in and get to the right section, you guys are right here, alright, so you guys are coming up, in front of you, this, this object right here, you see a pushed over cart, uh, it's, yeah, I have to, representation, alright, can I go, that's huge, it represents a cart, um, like a, like, not, like, bigger than, uh, Bigger than like what you guys are having right now. It seems to like probably be used for sleeping and carrying things as well. Um, but there's this very large carriage, like a carriage almost, I guess, would be the better definition. So there's this carriage. Um, it is turned over. The sign that was there, um, it's written in some weird language that no, that none of you would be able to. Actually, uh, Iona, roll me a uh, roll me a history. Okay. What what language is it? I know some languages. Well, uh, yeah, you should actually. Let me look at your character. Yeah, you would. I, mean, I, was, I don't know. You I recognize it as you. You recognize it as thieves can't. Ooh. So, uh, so you read it and you see it is a. Uh, you read it as Asala's wares. Is what? Oh, okay. Shit. It's her. And so you don't, you don't know that I didn't read that. Oh, her, but... No, oh no. So you don't know it's her. Oh, dude. You make you your way. Not I was gonna say. Letter. You make. Oh my goodness! You make your way and you see <laughs> the this this turned over cart. Um. And uh, making your making your way farther, uh, you see three gentlemen, uh, in simple clothing, uh. One of them an archer. I believe that's what I have. One of them an archer, and one of them is a has swords. But they have. Uh, it's not on a hanging post, but you see, uh, for most of you, a very familiar woman, uh, Lady Asala, who is uh, currently being fitted with a noose uh, that is tied to a very large tree rim or tree limb on the on the tree. Tree limb on the tree. Tree limb on the tree. Like creme de la creme. V Shock stops right. about right right here, like uh, before he moves on. I don't. Attempting to figure how much I care. <laughs> I am gonna take a shot. Wait, so I know it's Lady Asala, right? Yes. All right, then I'm gonna take a shot at the archer. You're gonna take a right, shot right, at the wait, archer? Wait. It's too late, Xerxes. Go ahead and roll an attack roll. Fuck yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> I like it, like right? I like it a lot. <laughs> That sold us a bunch of fucked up. Go ahead and roll me an attack roll. Great. With an agonizing blast. That? Yep. Am I wrong about that? Oh wait, no shit. That was supposed to be a repelling blast. Well, no. you can reroll. Are you? Oh, no, I can't. No, I can't. All right. Nope. Fine. Fine. We're moving on. So, <laughs> go ahead and roll damage. Oh, I guess is that? No, that's not it. Yeah, there you go. All right. Oh my goodness. Twenty-six. Again, not how I intended this to go, but I guess we're just gonna roll with it. Yep. How did you intend it to go, huh? With a conversation, <laughs> but I suspect that I just need yeah. to throw all options of conversation out the window. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know. why we're fighting. Let me get my. I don't know why. Little, I mean, let me get my. Really know why we're fighting. I don't know either. Okay. All right. So, 
Um. Oh, it, okay, but it, is this the person that like fucked screwed us out of our money? Yes, it is. I like, I like your yeah. life. This okay, is, I like so. All right, so hang on. Let me write down so all their stats. Why getting executed? I care. I think he likes that stupid. I like, I like, I like, I like how Jardar asks. I like how Jardar is like, why, do, why do we care? And Thirsty's like, well, I care. That doesn't even answer the question. All right, so that was the archer. I like what she sells. We can, we can just watch him. We can see. Where's me? Where is the archer? There he is. Okay, so. We're here with Iona. This is, this is going. Yeah. This isn't how we usually operate. All right, so. This is how we always operate. What are you talking about? I always take the first shot. This is how I do things. Oh, I'm Han Solo in this. We at least save time for a, for a witty one-liner before we fight. Okay, <laughs> hang on. All right, so no, we don't. We don't have any one-liners. So Xerxes, we're working on them. Xerxes, you take a shot. Uh, you. I mean, you recognize. You see these these gentlemen. Uh, getting this noose ready. Uh, actually, I should adjust this guy so he's better fit. So this guy is getting the noose ready on Asala. Um, taking aim. Uh, and feeling. That you need to serve some sort of justice here that I don't understand. Uh, no, it's not your, right. you, you take a shot of your agonizing blast, and this giant uh, stream of blue energy just shrieks out and hits the archer. Who right now he wasn't aiming; he was just he's sitting attentively. Oh, oh shit! Well, well made it look like he was aiming. I said at they him. were prepping a hanging. Why would they shoot her? Because he looks like he's okay. Hold because on. I have to show that he's an archer. No, you can't go back, fam. Oh shit! Damn. Well, now I just feel like an asshole. Yeah. The, the the let's the let's rewind to the to the beginning of this when Xerxes <laughs> said that he's just trying to make friends. And so, anyways, <laughs> so oh, are you recording? Oh, where did you throw shit in my face? So, Xerxes, your agonizing blast just consumes this man, and he is momentarily gone, and then it releases, and you see this guy, and he's now just like on the floor. Um, he's not dead, but he feels like he got hit by like a truck. Like, or a stampede of horses. Like, he's just laying there. He's like... <coughs> ah, ah. And it, was, it, was, it wasn't quiet. I mean, these other guys, like, the, the guy who was getting the noose prepped, um, and Lady Asala's hands are tied behind her back as well, so she couldn't escape. Um, they, they both stop, and they turn, and they draw their swords out, and they look at you. Um, I say that? And they, they're, like, bewildered, because they just look over, and they see their friend is, like, just matted in like scar and like bruises and his flesh is a bit red i love uh, if i were you you have no business here what are you talking about that's my friend of course i have business here lady asala looks at you guys and she kind of she smiles at you xerxes for saying that um um and she, uh they look and the lead guy right here let me turn him so he's facing you the lead guy here he turns to face you and he uh he retorts back, um, well, your friend was a thief and stole from our party the night before. That doesn't sound like her. Are you sure that's right? Because no, that's, that's not what she does. <laughs> oh, you got to roll I'm pretty sure on that, dude. That's I'm exactly sure what that's she does. The job of the thieves guild. Doesn't mean she's... Okay, what? Shut up. Yeah, you shut up. Kaigo, if you have nothing... You know what? What did, she, what, did she, what did she steal from you? My money. <laughs> Nobody's talking to you, Kaigo. I'm talking to them. He retorts. Dude, fucking he, talk to me! He, he retorts. My money. <laughs> did you, did you buy an item from her? We ran into her during the day. We declined her services of purchasing her fake trinkets. And he looks over at her kind of with a glare. And he looks back. Uh, and he says, and next thing we know, we were robbed. And they, they uh, hold out a little sack that, assuming is probably the sack that she put th their money in, or that the, they had the money in, uh, that they had to get back from her. The archer, he stands up, and he, uh, he's like getting an, a, an arrow notched, and he's like, why are we not shooting these men? And I mean, if you want to take a shot, have, I'll shoot you right back. I have a hard time not agreeing with these guys. <laughs> That's fine. No, I know what I'm always by myself. I mean, you can take a shot. I, would, I mean, if you want to get hurt again, I'm totally fine with it. I'm getting kind of bored on this journey that we're on. I can use a little fight. Why are you like this? <laughs> I can they, you, Lee Kygo. They, the, the front swordsman looks at you, Xerxes. Um, he says, I understand 
your feelings you might have for your friend. Your friend's a thief. And in this part of the world, thieves get hanged. That's kind of her job. How much did she steal from you? She stole 300 gold. God damn is, it. This, is this the part where you ask the rest of the party to give them <laughs> no, the guys, <laughs> guys, we have to pay her, her bail. I'm not gonna pay. I'm not gonna ask. Like, oh my god. Wait, Asala, is this? Are they? Is there, are they? Are they telling you? Are they telling the truth? She just kind of like, she sighs and she doesn't say anything, but she kind of looks away. Uh, god damn it, lady. Uh, uh, I'm just. Really, just wanted. Just, uh, I was so hoping to meet you too, and not, but not like this. Not like this. Uh, this is unfortunate. Okay. I'm that one guy at the be uh, at the beginning of Skyrim, who when you're about to get beheaded and all that, he's in the background yelling, "Justice, uh, justice! <laughs> Let there be justice!" <laughs> I like how Tali has taken position in a tree. Yeah. <laughs> I just noticed that. <laughs> and so the guy still he his sword is kind of out, but he he sees that it's a little it's it's calming maybe a little. Uh he kind of gives you just an eyebrow raise and he says, uh Are we going to have a problem? Or can we go back to our business? Uh, God damn it. Is there something we can work out here? I don't want to see your hang. Hung. Hung. <laughs> Can I go? This leads <laughs> over. Hung. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, they, uh, he looks back at his friend who is, uh, who's getting the, the news prepped. And, uh, they're kind of like mumbling back and forth, uh, to where they're at. They turn and they look back and uh, he looks and he says, you would be willing to pay for her freedom. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna let you fall right. No offense to you, lady. I would totally pay for your freedom in a heartbeat. But the way that my bank account is set up right now is that I can't really my bank afford you. I'm gonna give you this point. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna give you this check, but don't cash this check until Friday. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Jadar and Iona took positions too. Everyone's just moving. What is, what is B Shock look like he's doing right now? What is he? What B Shock, he, he uh, when when it first started, uh, he went for his axe, saying that uh, please arrow here. He he uh, he went for his axe, seeing that maybe there was combat against the enemies, but uh, seeing that this was a squabble between you. Uh, he's kind of letting your business go about itself, so letting you handle your own business. I mean, you're more than welcome to try and see what he wants, but right now he's kind of letting you and the rest of the party sort it out. And they're all human, right? Yeah, they're all human. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to do in this situation. I've never had to deal with this before in my life. This is well beyond my my my. Source of expertise. Fuck. <laughs> I can give you fifty gold. And that's the all I can I do. Give. They they laugh. <laughs> they laugh, man. I mean, it's either that, or we can duke this out. Choose your poison. I shoot two arrows. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Where are you shooting them, Tali? The. <sighs> That guy. All right, let's roll initiative, everybody. Let's get it going. Uh, roll initiative. Uh, We're at the point oh of no God. return. I, I want to kill something. Fuck. Uh, uh, oh, no, I really does not want to get involved in this. Yeah. Well, if you'd like to, if you want to, if you want to, you can dis, you can disengage, and try and find an optimal hiding spot. I mean. Jadar is a paladin that worships the god of justice, and this is the opposite of justice. Then you can choose to not do anything. I don't know, I guess. Go for it. I'm not gonna force you. Yeah, I, I don't know. Just, 
not character. It, it's oh, great, too funny. out of character for me. Oh, it's for uh, it's for V Shock. Yeah, I'm not gonna show you theirs. <laughs> I was like, no. Did right. I initiative send? Yes, you rolled two. I'm gonna go with okay. your first one, which was 15. Okay, I had a. Do you see the message that popped up with it? You wanted to send the result of this roll to the turn yeah. tracker? Yeah, that doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, that yeah. A lot. I was confused by that. Yeah, that's just for. I'm gonna turn down the music a bit. That's just for. Uh, yeah, just in case. Come on. Okay. There we go. All right. Let me roll them. roll all their stuff. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Congratulations. This, this is quite a pickle you're all in. Yep. Oh, I thought it was a cucumber, though. Sure. I mean, it hasn't been pickled yet, I guess. All right, so top of the list, is it V-Shock? Yeah. Then I think it's uh, Tally and Iona. Then me. And then Kaiga. Ooh, actually, it's the Archer. Oh, great. Can't wait then, to get that arrow. Uh, Chase, what do you usually do if you have tied initiatives? For tied initiatives? Yeah. Uh, who has the higher initiative bonus? Me. Uh, uh, higher five. initiative bonus uh, on a tie wins. All right, cool. So tally. If, they, if they're tied at that point, then just have them reroll. Yeah. Uh, and then Xerxes. You know what? Okay, I'll, I'll roll initiative, but I may not be doing exactly what. Yeah, no, you should. You, you should. You should exactly roll it so that way we can decide what you're gonna do during this yeah. stuff. Um, nine and Kaigo, seven. All right, finally, man, we have so many people. <laughs> Can't wait till later. Um. Let me get all their HPs ready. Go ahead and roll your uh, attack, Tolly. Since you did go, since you did initiate it by doing that, um, so go ahead and roll. Both oh, Jesus Christ, that. yeah, go, yeah, <laughs> go ahead and roll uh, your damage. Uh, so I like this new dam. Now that we know how to do damage. It's yeah. so nifty. Alright, so I'm just going to do one and two as your first one, so... Eight. Six. Alright, cool. So... And immediately, as you guys are talking to one another, you just hear... <laughs> as two arrows quickly zip out. Uh, and you were hitting the first swordsman, and who else? The... Two, the not the not the um, these two. That guy. The yeah. two swordsmen. Okay, yeah. and both swordsmen just suddenly feel uh, like just this strong punch right into their chest as you hit them right in the uh, right above uh, right above their pecs into their shoulders, um, and they are stumbling back, uh, angered. They just scream out and they draw their swords and uh, they begin. So starting off with V Shock, V Shock wanting to assess what's really going on. He he's going to go ahead and take cover here. Behind the uh, the cart, and he's gonna. Uh, that's gonna be his turn. Uh, next up, then, is the archer. The archer, seeing the shots, um, he goes. He's gonna go ahead and he's gonna take cover behind the tree. Uh, but he's gonna take aim at you, Xerxes. Uh, not very happy that you shot him before with that agonizing blast. Uh, and, I, I would expect so. Yeah, and so he's going to. Let me look at your sheet here. Let me. He's gonna go ahead and roll. For an attack and he makes it he uh shoots off roll? he's rolling well he rolled an 11 but he has a plus seven to his oh, bow yeah, yeah, he had it. yeah. yeah he had it. um so he's gonna go ahead and make a shot and you again like uh him kind of dealing the same punishment you just feel this strong punch right into your shoulder uh as he deals if i can find the appropriate dice so many dice the right one. He does nine points of damage. Oh Jesus! All right. Well, when he does that, I do I use hellish rebuke, which is da -da -da -da, where is it? I like place arrow here. 
<laughs> it's not coming up. Oh, never mind. There it is. Okay, so you're just doing half damage. What is no, he at? Uh, so he has to make a he has to uh, make a dexterity saving throw, and he has to beat a 15. And if he doesn't make a 15, if he doesn't beat 15, he gets. Uh, is this a reactionary so, thing? Yeah, it's a reaction. It's a reaction right, thing. He's got to do 15. He's got to be a 15. All right. He does not beat 15. So he so takes 12 he... points of damage. F of fire damage. Okay. All right, cool. So he shoots out an arrow feeling pretty confident in himself, but he just feels this sudden burn sensation uh, reflecting throughout his body. Um, no physical fire, it feels like, but he just has this huge, this stinging pain throughout that just cripples him a little bit. Um, next up is Tali. Oh, I had to shoot again? Yeah. Okay. Because you had I the do, advantage on that. Yeah, I'll do two arrows again. you do two arrows? Okay. Oh, who are you shooting at? I gotta know that. The same two guys. Same two? All right. Yeah. All right, cool. You hit both, and you make two points of damage. Again, like, they, they don't know where you're at because you're hiding in the trees, so they draw their swords, and they're kind of, like, looking around, and they just get hit in the other shoulder. So now they just got two nice arrows, both of them sticking out of their shoulders uh, as you do damage. So, again, eight and six, same people. Oh, my pencil broke. Sad day. Alright, cool. So, got that all figured out. Alright, next up is Iona. Iona, what are you going to do? Gonna stay hidden behind the cart. I can see Jadar's thinking what he's going to do when it becomes his turn. I'm very interested to see what he's going to do later. You're going to stay behind the cart and just hold? Is that it for now? Yeah. Okay. Alright, uh, Xerxes, you're up now. And can I, do I have plan of sight of the archer? Uh, you could shoot, but it's going to be at a disadvantage because he's in cover. Alright, well, okay, so, if I move, let's say here, will yes. I have clear line of sight? Yes, yeah, you would have a, a line of sight on it. Okay, but I'd be really close to those two, alright, that's the better, alright, so I'm gonna back up to here, <laughs> and block his view of me. Okay. And then I'm gonna take a shot at the first guy, with an agonizing blast. Alright, go for it. Just, I mean, eviscerated. Is it a straight line? It's a straight line. Uh -oh. I mean, you hit both of them. With this. Oh, Jesus. Because they're both standing right there. So go ahead and do uh, two points of, uh, or two different damage rolls. Oh, okay. Yes, computer. I don't understand that 7 plus 2 is 9. No, Man, would, twice. Why is it doing 7 plus 2? <laughs> I don't know why it's doing it. Oh, it's, I don't know. So it's 9? Yeah. Oh, it's because I, I rolled two, I guess, 2d10. I, guess. I don't forget why. <laughs> I don't know. These guys, these guys are just getting punished. They are feeling a little <laughs> terrified uh, as they are just getting hit with arrows, and they're just like trying to like look and see where all this is coming. But they do see you, Xerxes. They see yeah. you like prepping a, a a strong power stance as you just send this wave of energy, and they they see you, and then they just see a blue stream. Uh, except for the guy behind the first guy, the, the second guy only sees his friend's back until the blue stream just consumes him. Um, Unfortunately, you also are doing damage to Lady Asala. Oh, because, shit, am I really? Because, because she's right there. Fuck. <laughs> so, Asala is well, going to take it. We might as well just fucking leave. Uh, go ahead and roll a third time, actually, then for that. Oh, Jesus. I mean, it doesn't go through all of them, does it? You said it's a straight line, right? Yeah, I don't... I mean, I think it just stops at the first one. Does it stop at the first guy? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I feel like it wouldn't. If it's a straight line, it should be able to go through multiple targets. Yeah. You can cast, uh, the, 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 hold on. Unless uh, it's basically just, hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me double check this. As if you're right, then I'm totally fine with it. A beam of crackling streaks towards a creature within range. Yeah, it doesn't say it goes, it goes straight through a straight line. It just okay. says, uh, a beam then, of crackling energy. Then we'll just do okay. one, we'll do one person. So you only, you only did right. damage to one person. Alright, that makes okay, that's fine. Alright. Yeah. Alright, so that first guy, he just stumbles back and he is like coughing just cause just from it feeling like he's getting hit straight in the chest. Um next up is the swordsman. What's their movement speed? 
think it's about 30, like everybody else. Well, it depends. Some of them actually have 40. Just depends oh, on who Jesus it is. Christ. Yeah, some people do. Um... Oh man, just there. Swordsman One's gonna go ahead and run at you. Yeah, hell yeah. Just screaming uh, as he does, and he's gonna go ahead and make a uh, a sword attack on you. Nope. Not very happy that you hit him with an agonizing blast. He rolls a nat twenty, and, oh, fuck. and he's gonna do damage now. Yeah, I'm pretty much gonna be die dead at this point. <laughs> You're gonna be dead at this point. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing to yourself? <laughs> no, I'm not clearly thinking this uh, through. Where is my dice? At? Is this it? There it is. All right. So that's eighteen. What? Plus? Yeah, it's a D. <laughs> yeah, eighteen plus four, twenty-two points of damage there, fam. Well, I'm, I'm unconscious. That's it. <laughs> I can't. I can't take that. I have like literally 24 hit points, and I'm down to 15. I can't hit. I can't Cersei's, take you that just is so justified. That is right. That's fine. Let me just switch. Let me just switch some icons around. It's fine. All right. So, All right. Uh, because of one? the special case of this scenario, the archer. Or not the archer. I'm sorry. The swordsman. After he like he he just did this. This very deep stab into your right into your gut, and you have now collapsed over. And Xerxes, you are now unconscious. Mm -hmm. uh, now use the use the X, use the X, please. <laughs> no, I'm not dead. I'm unconscious the, right now. The when the I die, I'll the use swordsman the X. looks around, um, and he he looks at everyone else like Kaigo, who's standing there, like what the fu what the heck, <laughs> right there next to him, uh, but also V Shock, um, and he's going to attempt. As a bonus action, he's going to oh, attempt so <laughs> a cease, uh, a ceasefire, and he so he stops and he calls out, um, "Let this be the end." That was. Jadar, Jadar yells back. Jadar, you are you are the next person. Is this swordsman the only one here who sees reason? Why are we fighting? No one's gonna do anything. Uh, All right. I I, uh, I come out. I guess if it's my movement, I I come out and I uh, I stand by him. Okay. I join him. The uh. The second, the next person up uh is the sword, second swordsman, and he is walking slowly. I'm gonna turn down the music because right now we're kind of in a standstill. So we'll play this music here. Kind of in a standstill. No one knows what's gonna happen. Um, because <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, oh, the, uh, before my before my turn is, as I'm standing next to this dude, this is a dude that got like really annihilated too, wasn't it? Uh, yes, yeah, he's been shot. Man. Yeah, he's been shot uh, and destroyed. If if he allows it, I'm going to place my hand on his back and use lay on hands to heal him for ten hit points. Okay. He uh, go ahead and roll a persuasion, because he sees you reaching out to him, this big dragonborn fellow, and he kind of a little intimidating. Uh, <laughs> don't move <laughs> as you hold him as you throttle him by the neck I'm healing you uh, let me help you uh, he, he flinches as he wasn't paying attention um, as he was looking back at Xerxes and he just feels this this hand touches back but he immediately feels this relief through him and he uh, gives this like shiver as he just he feels a lot more rejuvenated he looks over at you and he looks at, uh, he looks down at Xerxes. He says he tried to deny us our right of trial. I understand that justice needs to be done. I am a, I am a follower of Tyr. I will. Uh, That's a little too. Quiet. I will. I will not allow. Uh, I will not allow this to be you to be unjustly judged for attempting to. Uh, to right the wrongs that have been made against you and your group. The uh, the the second swordsman, he he isn't attacking anybody, but he is like scanning for you, Tali. He is looking for the archer <laughs> after getting shot twice now. Um, 
but j just of what he's doing. I see Iona sneaking around. Um, for now, I'll just let that slide and see what that happens because right now nothing's happening. Um, they, uh, the swordsman looks at Udradar and uh, looks down at Xerxes and he says, I think he has learned enough. I, <laughs> he, there are too many of you to fight and he like he gestures to like the arrows that like fell after you healed them like they just like the skin kind of forced them out um and yeah dude some sweet healing powers that i made up and uh <laughs> and <laughs> and so um you are he's, he's still got some like some bruises there though but yeah you are probably correct in your assessment we are all very good at killing <laughs> <laughs> but is your hand still on his I back to, i have to admit i mean well not after the healing finish okay <laughs> the healing finishes that i that i remove it but I'm like, very very mobster like, like just like scared. caressing his shoulder just like yes it would probably be wise to... we are very <laughs> we're we're very we gotta keep fighting if you know what uh, i mean but i have to admit uh that was impressive as hell <laughs> to just take his like, hit and then sprint at him and get, get him down. <laughs> like, like, damn, you kicked his ass. <laughs> that was that was actually fairly impressive. You all probably, I was going to tell you all to run and get and get out of here. I was going to assist you in doing so before uh, before I saw that. Uh, but well, well done. You are assuming you survive. You are going to be a, a very impressive combatant one day. <laughs> <laughs> Assuming you survive, what? What is he? What is he fighting now? That's my question. The world is conscious. harsh, man. The MPs world is the, the night is dark and full of terrors. Is the world? Oh, dude, I can't wait to meet these guys again in the future. Well, that's gonna, be gonna come back, and he is going to be a, He's gonna be a serial Pharrell. That's who, that's who we're gonna be up against. Alright, so. He kind of takes a breath and he looks over at his friends and he kind of gestures to them to lower. And they, the both of them are a little cautious, um, seeing that they're being shot by an unforeseen enemy, Tali, up in the woods. And uh, but they they sheath their weapons and um, kind of shrug off their wounds. The 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 swordsman is like working on pulling his arrows out of his body right now. Um, and he looks over. Uh, and those the first swordsman looks at Udradar. He nods and he's like. Uh, I'm sorry it had to come to this. I, uh, I only wish uh, so many blows hadn't been exchanged. But the good news is that nobody, uh, no one has lost their life as of yet. <laughs> Meanwhile, Xerxes is bleeding out from the gut. <laughs> He's fine. He's fine. Can I, can I cast Am I really, though? Am I really? <laughs> yeah. I think. Am I, am I allowed to do that? Can I just... He made a death save yet. Can I do a little no, it's not. No. I was about to. I was actually about to because of the passage of time to ask for it. But sir, Kygo, you wanna? You're gonna do something? Are you gonna heal him, Kygo? Yeah. All right. So go ahead, Kygo. And uh, what do you? Spell casting ability. Oh, okay. Are you using a potion? No. No, I using have, ones. I have one of my cantrips. Okay. What's my spell modifier? What the fuck is my spell modifier? Oh my goodness, we've discussed this. It should be on your spells page. It's a three. One D eight. One, two, three. I'm gonna take my time with this just because I'm just gonna just. I could be hitting this button. I have the click right there. Okay, right so you're using cure wounds. Alright, so you restore Xerxes six points of health. Xerxes, you just wake up with a with a huge inhale of air just <gasps> as you just feel the life and but as you're doing that it also feels oh, gut punch. So you're trying to regain it's it's very much like you got kicked in the stomach and you can't feel any because you, since it was in the gut, so you're just trying <clears throat> and it's just trying to gain air back into a part of your body that's so wounded. Um and you see Xerxes, or Xerxes, you see the swordsman standing over you with Dradar and Kaigo uh, kneeling down as he was casting your wounds. Oh. Okay. The swordsman 
he reaches down to extend a hand to help you up. Just give me a minute. Body really hurts. He I'm retracts his hand. Um, uh, and he I nods. Take it any other things, but now we're not. The swordsman looks over at Yudradar, and as he does, he sees the, the cart uh, that's there, and he looks back at you and he says, Perhaps we can do something in exchange. Nope. We will let her go, but just as she robbed us, we will rob her of possessions. Oh, her cart. Is he looking at her cart or our cart? Uh, her cart or our cart? No, no, her cart. Her cart. The oh, broken okay, down good, cart. Good. Because he, he looks at the cart and I'm like, wait. Uh, well, I said, because Jadar's right here and I said that he looks past the cart and the cart is behind Jadar. Okay. Yeah. Let me you know, I'm not opposed to that. Uh, as my friend uh, failed to mention before if things came to blows, uh, this person has actually robbed us before as well. That's not true. That was really cool gifts. Uh, not true. <laughs> uh, I, I pull out my uh, my helmet. Uh, of dark is, vision. This is the helmet of dark vision that it was sold to <laughs> me by her. Great. Put it on. It's if, funny. If, if you put it, you put it on. <laughs> I, I, I give it's it to so Put it on. He, it's so hilarious. He uh he takes it from you, and it, it's it's fairly large for him. Um, and he he looks at it and kind of puts it on, and you see him as he just goes. And he's trying to like turn the helmet to see if he like put it on the wrong way, and it's yeah, just this. Because it's dark it, vision, you can't see. He takes it off, and he's like, "This is horrible." That's funny. Yeah, that one was. How much gold was this? How much gold did uh, I pay for that? That was. Gold. Hang on, I actually have that written down. So hang on. I don't even know how much gold I paid for that. That I'm was not... seventy-five gold. Seventy-five gold. I paid seventy-five gold for this. I've been trying to find a way for weeks. To get this modified to even make it useful, and I still can't find a way. <laughs> We've been. What are you talking about? I could have. Uh, I'm pretty good with leather. I could have done something. It's not leather. Well, it's a know. steel helmet. I mean, it'd probably make your, the inside really comfortable. What's the difference? <laughs> I don't even know if I'll. It's freaking cursed. I don't even know if I'll be able to see if I cut the eye holes off. Like. How do I use this? <laughs> he, uh. He shakes his head, just disappointed in Lady Asala's business, and um, he he gestures over to the second swordsman who, who, who God damn it, my mouse is not reacting very well right now. He he walks back, and he begins to untie Lady Asala, and soon enough she is free from the uh, from the limb, and he gives her kind of a mean look as he pushes her towards uh, your guys' group, and she starts stumbling towards you guys, um, and the first swordsman looks back at you, Dradar, and he's like. Very well. Uh, <clears throat> we will repossess her items, and you now have her life. Just, uh... Come over and pick up my two it. arrows from the ground. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> you just walk over like... <laughs> so the swordsman looks out, and he sees you jump down from the tree. Uh, and you just kind of reach over, and you, like, look at him as you pick up your arrows. And he just gives you this glare. Um, as a... I just put them back in, and then I just walk off. Okay. As I'm, replacing my, as I'm replacing my helmet in hey, my bag, I, uh, hey. I managed to like remember none, none of his what items are none of her items are as they seem. Trying to kill people. Mm. <laughs> we kind of failed with that. Xerxes did for sure. Oh, Maybe he'll let his in. his lesson this time. I doubt it. Yeah, I doubt it too. <laughs> What was that you were saying, Dradar? Sorry, they were having uh, a conversation. I, I was saying that yeah, I, I take the, uh, I'm taking the helm of dark vision, replacing it back there, just warning the swordsman that none of the items in that cart are what they seem. Okay, so you're not you're not gonna carry it anymore. What? No, I've got it. Okay. I put it back in my pack. Oh, back in your pack. I thought you meant back in the yeah. cart of like. No, her no. Cart. I still got. I'm still determined to make this damn thing work someday. Okay, that's fair. Um. All right, cool. So, uh, they, you guys, eventually, to for the interest of time, you guys sort things out. Um, they stay behind. Uh, they're kind of all formed by the the wagon, and Vishak steps away. But they all form by the wagon and start to discuss how the what they want to do with everything. Um, 
while Lady Asala makes her way over to you guys. Um, she looks at you and she's like, uh, thank you, friends. Um, and she's kind of nervous talking because, you know, she knows that, you know, she's kind of, you know, sold you guys cheap stuff. So she is thanking you not just for saving her now, but for right now, not killing her right <laughs> at the second. I was not happy. I can see. I just start. I just start. I, I just start thinking out loud. Like, man, all the people that she swindles over. There's got to be a good bounty out on her, right, guys? She she kind of looks at you and she's like, no, 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 please, please. I don't. I don't. I just want to go home. I want to go. I just, oh, I wanna there's go definitely a good bounty on this one. Look at how desperate she is, huh? Huh? Like a good bounty no takers. On no takers? Okay. No. V Shock right. V Shock looks at you as you're dying and he says, As much as I enjoy a good wealth of gold, uh, we are on a mission for larger gold, Dradar. Dradar. Right. Right. Just take right. the gold Dradar. and get from her. It's Please. Uh, Wait, there's, <laughs> something, there's something by your foot. Can you take a step back? Wait, there's, there's something by my foot. Is that a spider? <laughs> just take a step back. What? Other way. You're, you're walking towards it now. Oh. <laughs> what? What's, what's by my foot? What's... He wants you to step on Xerxes. Oh! <laughs> Shit. Fuck. No, He's give guiding me the... <laughs> what? I'm going to aim... What is this? That I have. What is Guiding Bolt? Oh. oh. What did I just do? What is that? A flash oh, of light streak towards a creature of your choice in range. Make a ranged spell attack against the target. On a hit, the target takes... You're going to do damage to her? Okay. Yep. So... So, the target takes 4d6. 4d6?! Wow, that's a lot of damage. I have my All evidence. Right. Alright, here we go. <laughs> I'll see you guys here in about 10 seconds. Hang on. Ooh. Ooh. Lady of Sol is unconscious on the ground. <laughs> Labor. Um, <clears throat> do I, can well, I, like, recognize I mean, at this point, if there's a bounty on, on her, her, we might as well take a... Uh, Iona, you don't recognize anything, um, like, Mark, I mean, the most that she has to show she, that she was a thief. Related. Yeah, yeah, uh, on her person, no, I mean, the most you were able to see is okay. the, the sign. Yeah. It's like, as she walked up, she's like, whew. Man, thanks guys. That was that was great. Big flash of light blaster in the face. Unconscious on the ground. But, uh, I'm so glad Xerxes isn't here. I know. He went I to get food. Over. Yeah, he okay, went to go get food. She deserved uh -huh. that. I I will say, Gago, she she did deserve that. Let's not murder murder her. I'm just, I yet. can't see it, but my hands are shaking from it. From what? Because uh, I thought Xerxes was still here. I didn't see that he was gone. So I'm oh. like... Duh! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, she just slumps to the ground. Uh, kind of like a taser bolt, essentially, is what did this to her. As she just, like, like kind of like Men in Black Flash with a mix of a taser. And she just hits the ground. Um, plays her earlier. <laughs> and uh, okay, she's now laying there. So what are you guys going to do? Yes, we put her in the cart. Put her in the cart. Yeah. Put her in the cart with Xerxes. Let's, let's All right. <laughs> so you guys load. You guys load Xerxes. You guys gonna go back to town? What? No, 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 no. We're gonna take her with us. Yeah. But that's not good. How are well, we gonna off, get a bounty? We're, we're, if she's not going to the to the goblins. Well, we're gonna get a bounty I'm off of her, but it's when we come back. With the no, rest. she'll be awake by then. Well, smack her with your lightning bolt again. Yeah. Well, what happens? <laughs> it's just <gone. laughs> Do you want money now so we can maybe get something to help us to go fight this Omar? Or do you want me to constantly have to waste my spells so that I can't heal you guys later? No backtracking. Are we backtracking? I don't... Can we not just tie her up? No. We just tie her up. We'll take her up together in the cart. And just I don't think B-Shock wants to go back. Mm. 
I forgot about the cart. I do not also want baggage in my cart. We need all the room we can get for the gold. Ha! See, we can go take her back right now. And we could probably get access into the city. Why don't we just tie her up to this tree? This no. is on the route. This is no. on the route. We'll no. tie her to this tree. No. no. <laughs> Leave her here. We get access into the city for whatever brief time we can. And we can, like, look at our surrounding and see how we can assess the situation as we go and deliver her. Cersei's is back. <laughs> I think. I think. Oh, no. Yeah. So, Xerxes, <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah. So, this oh, is the situation. No. So, oh, wait. so you're on the ground. You were, you're oh, kind wait. of fading in and out of wanting to get up or not. Um, and Lopez walked away because he knows what's going to happen when, as soon as I tell you this. She walked over and was apologizing. Dradar was joking about how we could get a bounty for her. Lopez shocked her with Guiding Bolt, and she went unconscious because he dealt that much damage to her. And so now the group is debating on whether to backtrack and try and find if she has a current bounty on her to actually give gold now to carry her in the cart on your quest to Omar's tomb and then deal with the bounty later or to tie her here, leave her here, and then come back on the way back and grab her to turn in a bounty. Either way, everyone seems to be wanting right. to turn in a bounty. Time out, real quick. She passed over right next to me, so I'm guessing that she's like... No, she's way oh, over, she's there. over there. She's right Yeah, there. she's on the opposite side of you. Yeah, 10 feet. Ten feet. Uh, right, so there's all something right. by your foot. Bang! <laughs> so I, uh, I'm now just like I just get up. I'm still sitting on the floor though. I, say. I like that you did that point blank to her too. Like you were literally five feet away from her face, and you're just, hey, what's that? Ba Boom! <laughs> what are you gonna do, Xerxes? Um, I don't think we should turn her in. Of I mean, no, duh. So. Oh yeah, yeah, like. My words have any merit, but uh, she's has she may be able to tell us something about Trapper. Maybe Trapper talked to her. Maybe we can find him well, after he got Tali's attention. Does she? <laughs> Tali's like, yeah. huh? What? <laughs> was Trapper yeah. with us when we met her? Yes, he was. Yeah. yeah. He was. He was up he in was the trees. The, yeah, he was up above last. Trapper was with you. Yeah, he, yeah, he was. Yeah, he was hiding up in the trees. Me and him had he, a great time. He la he time. laughed at you because he knew it was a th who the thief was. He knew that it was uh, Lady Asala because she's known for her little trinkets that she tells to kids, and like dumb adults is what she calls them. Um, but uh, V Shock looks at Xerxes and he's uh, says, "I do not wish to carry baggage uh, on this trip, and we would not have to deal with this baggage." If you had not intervened in their affairs. I want to be completely honest. I don't know what I was thinking when I did that. Um, <laughs> that wouldn't but, be the first time. Yeah. Damn. But after, you know, passing out uh, and in my darkness, I had a moment to think. And uh, A lot of contemplation. <laughs> That quick, you know, when you're almost dying, you know, you you have a lot of time to just think to yourself. Isn't and, this their uh, second time almost dying? No, this is my little my first time. So okay. I think I, but I I don't know if you've died, but I do. I almost did. So you were I think unconscious. I, have right here. I was unconscious. Felt like I was playing. Whatever. The point is being that she's our only contact with our friend that we that ran away from us, and. He's in grave danger. And as of right now, she's our only landline to him. So, granted, she's a crook and she rips people off. But she's the only person we have to our old friend. And I get up, dust myself off. It's like, but, you know, you guys can do whatever you guys want. You guys outvoted me. You guys can outvote me. Uh, and I just head back to the cart and just pet Ashrod, trying to teach her to come when I whistle. What is the, uh, the rest of the group going to decide? I am, I'm supporting of these ideas of turning in the bounty, because that implies we could get justice for the other people that she has wronged, and make a profit on the side. Which both sounds ideal to me. 
a I'm decision. I'm not opposed to turning her in and getting quick access into the city. You have four I options. I don't think that would be enough. You to can. Get into the city. You have four options. You can take her with you. You can bring her back and hope that there's a bounty and try and find a way to get into the city or try and do something in the courtyard. You can tie her here and hope that she's still here when you bring her back. Or you can just leave her and let her wake up and forget about her. But it's that's that's the four I'm presenting. Seems to be the only option. Unless there's like a secret fifth option that I'm not considering. Or you just finish her off. I guess that's secret option five. I mean, option six, we could always, uh, uh, we could ask, we could ask our new friends that you guys kind of beat up to take her back. <laughs> you could, in exchange for her could life, ask, you could, could just say, I mean, take her in. Ask, we could ask them to take, uh, to take her in and see if there's a bounty on her. Maybe they can, uh, maybe they can collect, maybe they can collect something on that. They would have better access to the city. Yeah, they're uh, they can actually get in. They're uh, not us. Any decision, guys? What's it gonna be? Look, personally, we're going to get a bunch of gold right now. I don't care as much about the gold we could get off of her. I just want her to be brought to justice. So Xerxes says, "Take point. her with you." Tolly, what do you say? Hold on. Whoa. I mean, at this here, point, well, what are you saying, Xerxes? I don't really care. I'm just. Letting her live. I don't. I don't know anything. I'm, I'm like, not I'm saying not... that's gonna. You guys are gonna kill her can, that way. You can live. That's fine. I just want no, her. I'm to talking about just laying, lay, uh, leaving her here and then you know, but safely, I guess. But I'm not taking her with us because I don't know if she can even provide anything. No, I need a decision. What are we doing? Her with us. What was that, Iona? Take probably. That's that's my vote. Take her with you? No reason. No, yep, no reason. Just that's my vote. Okay, so take her with you. Tali? I mean, we could maybe try to get any information from her if we take her with us. Okay, and that's two. Kaigo? Fine. I'll, I'll go with the taking her with us. Zadar, Xerxes? Alright. You know. There's still an opportunity to bring her to justice if we bring her with. Just, uh, watch your pockets. Well, we're gonna tie her up, so we don't have to. Oh, yeah, just, I assume she's, uh... Can, it, can we frisk her and make sure she has nothing on her to get out of those? Yeah, she's those unconscious, times? do that now. I can't touch Rolling a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Are you insane? <laughs> How dare you, Iona? The high end community. The high end community. <laughs> yeah. Who's gonna Who's gonna roll for that? Would love to. I need I need an investigation from somebody. What would I like to do? What? Uh, are you going to see? Are you gonna frisk her, check for weapons, or somebody? Iona, cast no, your name. I'm, I'm just I'm just I'm just messing, I'm just playing right. horse. I'm trying to teach you some tricks. Some tr yeah, roll over, girl. <laughs> no, I'm trying to just make her come whenever I whistle. Like, just a call. I'm sure she's rolling with animal handling, and someone needs to roll for investigation. I will if I get to keep whatever I find. Go ahead. I mean, you don't have to tell us anything. Yeah, you don't. You need to lie to us. You said investigation, right? Yeah. Oh, whatever. Somebody else check, because I suck at it. I was going to say with advantage, because she's unconscious, but. I mean, your your advantage is seven. <laughs> Cersei, you see that uh, Asfad is uh, is is acknowledging the whistles, not necessarily coming to you every time, but mm. is is recognizing the command as a deliberate action. Um, Iona, um, you Frisker, you find no gold on her. What was probably uh, whatever gold that she swindled from people is probably in her cart that the men are looking at now um but in your quick frisk she does not appear to have any sort of dagger or other weapon are we ready to continue option number seven. Oh my <laughs> lord what is it we do the classic uh we do the classic punishment for thieves cut off their hands 
In the interest of time. <laughs> we can do that later. We're going with taking her with That's you. Uh, V-Shock. idea on the back burner. V-Shock <laughs> kind of groans. And he, uh, he, he walks over and he's like, fine. But she does not sit in my cart. E, and he gestures over to the tiefling. <laughs> carry, carry her on his horse <laughs> or on his back. And he, uh, he I'm continues, okay he continues fine. marching forward. All right. I put, I put, uh, I put her on my horse, lay her, like, sideways. Like, a... Just slumped over. The... Yeah. Did you tie her up yet? Oh, yeah, tie her up. Ooh, horse. I thought you guys were going to let that go. So, all right, you guys tie her up. That would have been a bad thing. Like a saddlebag. Yeah, tie up a hand behind her back. Her feet. <laughs> well, don't do it like that. She's gonna fall off my fucking. Make... Tie her to that, the horse. And then tie her to the horse. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. So we don't get a repeat of when Iona cut the rope. <laughs> we don't need a repeat of that. That was a weird day. That was a fun day. All right. <laughs> Oh, that was a dark. Yeah, never mind. I forgot what happened after that. Yeah, that was a very right. dark day. You guys know where we're going now. Imagine yeah. to the imagination. Oh, we're going back. Okay. Damn it! <laughs> so much stuff on here. <laughs> so much has happened. <laughs> I just uh, want to keep covering this page with things and never, and never get rid of them. <laughs> All right, so you guys march your way. Um, I mean, you took a you, you gave a pretty big hit, Kygo. So Asala is not waking up. Uh, she did not wake up for the rest of the journey, uh, for the day. Uh, you guys get across a, uh, hang on, there's a specific thing here. Hold on, can I also do, I'm also testing out the, the spells page. Can I cast Cure Wounds again on Xerxes just to make sure he has a bit of a buffer? Uh, does it fit in your spell slot? It do. Then go for it. Fuck. <laughs> you miss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm That's all I can you. say. I like, I like, I, I like how, like, Xerxes is, like, walking his horse, and Kyrie, you look over, and you're like, you know what, I'm gonna do something really nice, and you just go, Why am I walking? Oh, fuck, and just, like, you miss. <laughs> <laughs> That's not, you have to roll a hit. Your is not an attack roll. No, yeah, it's, not, it's not an attack roll. No, it's a, uh, yeah, it's just by touch. So I need you to roll the D8 with the uh, modifier. I just like that, though, that you just go, I can do this. And then you just, you throw it, and you're like, wait, I have to he go over me. there. <laughs> he heals Lady of Sala. See, I'm just <laughs> trying to test the whole, like, spells page, because there's attack, and then there's something called spell card, which I don't know what it does. Spell card. Uh, oh, yeah, it's it's spell, spell card. You're going to want to use spell oh, cards for, for stuff like this. There it is. Now, roll your right. D8 with spell casting modifier. Okay, so I just have to keep doing that over and over again. That sucks. Whoa, oh, I just found a whole nother page that I'd never found before. That is very good. The spell one? The spell one? No. Oh, uh, it's, it's uh, like the a bio. Setting, there's a settings page in here that oh. lets you do like custom stuff. Alright, so. Yeah, screw that at some point. <clears throat> the par, uh, V Shock takes you guys back. And eventually you find yourself out of the forest. It's about it's about 6 p.m. You find yourself out of the forest, uh, and you see the wall. But uh, it's getting a little bit more mountainous. Uh, the wall is definitely much higher up on a inclined hillside. <coughs> and at the base, uh, I need everyone roll me a perception. Perception. Ooh. Whoever gets this is going to be the one to see it. Oh. Alright, Kygo is going to see it. Kygo, along your walk, um, you notice that uh, on the wall, there seems to be... How did I list it? Um, like I said, there, the wall of the Bifrost Spain. You guys oh. exited the forest and the, like, the, the wall is much higher uh, up. It's like on this, <laughs> this, this large... like. <laughs> It's on this like mountain, uh, like on this hillside. You see that there is a cavern, a uh, very old cavern that seems to tunnel into the hill that goes under the Bifrost Bank. So there's 
a Mexican opening. Perhaps. Okay. Only you see that right now, so. <laughs> okay. That is your decision of what to do. I'll keep that in mind. You don't say anything? You can keep moving? Just keep moving, because right, right now it's not really of importance. Alright, cool. You guys keep moving. A few more hours. You guys are kind of out of the woods now and more in like rocky terrain as you guys are navigating the uh, the mountainside. Uh, kind of familiar to when you guys were in the Prunier Mountains at Krupnik. And V shot guides you guys to uh, to a uh, to a hill to a mountainside. Uh, climbing up a little bit, you guys eventually make your way into uh, a cavern. It's getting pretty late. It's about 9, 10 p.m. And uh, he looks back and he says, we will make camp here tonight. Um, at this point, Lady Asala is still asleep. You knocked her out pretty cold. <laughs> and whoever's, so, on whoever's on watch is going to have to watch her, too. Yeah, mm. no, it's going to be fun. Uh, hang on, i got to see what Chase just posted. <laughs> 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 Doing it wrong. <laughs> that chip is too good. All right, so... Um, <laughs> V-Shock, uh, he exits the cavern, he says, I will go get wood. And he, uh, starts making his way down the mountain to go get firewood. Can I tag along with him? Maybe? Sure, yeah. Cool. I just right. run after him. Okay. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Tali, are you gonna go hunt for food again? Yeah. Alright, Kaigo, what are you doing? We'll tackle uh, all this individually. I'm gonna set up my bed. <laughs> Get that mat out. The animation again. <laughs> All right. So you're setting up. Okay. So you're getting ready for first watch. Xerxes, what are you doing? Um, I'm gonna try to put a hole into my uh, lucky coin. Okay. And try to put it onto a string to make a little. Okay. Hypnosis uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, hang on. I'm trying to think what that would be to do that. Perform? No. Mm. Ath yeah. like, maybe athletics to try and use the force to cut through the coin. The force is strong with this. I'm gonna say athletics. Damn it. Okay, Xerxes, uh, you don't make you do make a hole. Um, it's not a clean hole. It's you know it's very crooked and mishappen. It looks you almost take out like a quarter of the coin, like the center of the coin, trying to do it. Oh no, I didn't want to put it in the center. I wanted to put it like on, on like an edge or something. I know, and because of your roll, it, it didn't entirely <laughs> okay. go on the edge. <laughs> I got so, it in the middle. I bought yeah, it. so you you kind of are like in the middle, um, but you do make this misshapen circle. And uh, you can, uh, using some twine, you can uh, tie uh, a necklace for yourself. Oh, I want, well, I want to tie it around my oh, wrist. Oh, your wrist? Then, then yeah. The, I want to throw it all like on the floor to see if it still works. Uh, so who's all there? Kaigo's there. Tali's not there. Dradar. Dradar, uh, are you staying in the cave right now? If if Xerxes and Kaigo have the fort kind of kind of held down here, I think I'm going to join Team Wood out there. Team Wood. All right. Wood. wood party. Wait for me. Yeah, wait for me. <laughs> so, Xerxes, unless, you, you... unless you're going to have like a solo moment. No, it's fine. That's, no, that's fine. fine. You're ruining the moment, Dradar. You can just listen in and be a stalker. So. That's, that's fine. So I'm Xerxes, always the guy who sits back at camp. So. You throw no, the coin and it. yeah, you, you feel yourself. As soon as you throw it, you feel yourself immediately pull it back. Or this is gonna be super fucking fun. <laughs> I just I I took it away and then if Kaigo isn't paying attention, I'm gonna try to stealthily take off the ring of confidence. Did you just invent the fidget spinner. <laughs> no, he invented like a yo-yo almost because he tosses it and then it immediately comes back. <laughs> uh, so you're taking off the ring of confidence. Yeah. But you I'm what? Try to make it like super stealthy. I don't want I don't want anybody to notice that it's off. Well, the, I'm taking it off. Well, the ring of confidence is just a. Uh, are you are are you afraid it's gonna make noise? 
No, I just, okay. I just don't want to. Like, I just don't want anybody to see it, so I just take it off. Okay, so you take it off, no problem. I mean, Kai goes, you know, fixing his bed. All right, cool. And I just put it in my in my bag. Okay. Is that it for now? That's 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 it. Yeah. All right, so we'll go over to Team Wood. Uh, so V Shock was probably about was it probably about 50 feet out before uh, Iona. Uh, he he hears Iona call out, wait. And she makes her way over to him, and he kind of slows down his pace. He's got his axe over his shoulder um, as he slows down, and uh, he stops and he says, uh, Care to join? Yeah, I was wondering if you could tell me about what I was asking you about earlier. Jadar, for the sake of things, I'm going to say you're just kind of tailing behind. Um, yeah, I'm you, you, behind. You can more than welcome I'm intervene. Oh, I'll let them have their, yeah. their thing. She's talking about a private conversation. Um, so you guys begin walking just through the the mountainside, through the rocks and everything, trying to find some dead brush or anything. Uh, and he looks at you and he says, "Ah, uh, I believe you said the Pryor family." Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Um, you seemed a bit surprised that I had information. But I, I'll tell you all that I know. Uh. It was uh, shortly, uh, it was a little bit before uh, the final years of the war. Uh, we were still uh, cleansing this northern hemisphere of hostiles, enemies that were pillaging and raping and murdering uh, villagers and some of the smaller settlements that are in the west. Um, along my travels, we, uh, with my group, my small little party, we came across a, uh, a mill, a water mill, uh, that belonged to the Pryor family, and they informed us of, oh, hang on, let me check all my notes, um, they were, uh, of a water mill outside of the Liar's Den, uh, city, or Liar's Den town, and, uh, they spoke of. Man, I gotta refresh myself. They spoke of you. Um, I'm assuming who is you. I'm very surprised to run into you uh, after that whole investigation. They and I assumed that you were dead. Um, why don't you tell me a bit about your family and what you remember? And. I can fill in holes. Uh, I'm just shocked that he would know me, I guess. And all right. Uh, well, I was I was really young at the time, and all I knew is that my father didn't care about me much, and saw an opportunity to make some quick money. You were sold to the uh, Emerald Enclave. Yes. The Emerald Enclave are known for their good nature and uh, serenity to doing good deeds. Um, unfortunately, I believe that was not what happened to you. No. Uh, I don't know how you feel about your your family, Iona, but when they gave you away. Um, they felt that having a person of your your stature was very dangerous. Hashtag D&D with millennials, nice. Um, they felt that a person of your stature was a danger to the liar's den. Many people shunned the water mill, the prior mill, uh, because of um, dangers uh, with having a an angelic person. And they wanted you to do good. They didn't want you. They didn't want the, the balance to be tipped in favor of a demonic path. They wanted you. They wanted to see you grow to be stronger and better than what they could afford to give you here when there was so much hate towards you and the, their family. So they gave you to the Enclave. They gave you to a group of the Enclave that were deserters who were looking to make their own niche and to 
join in on the takings of raping and pillaging and murdering these smaller families and villages. Um, they did not know at the time. And that is why they seeked for anyone's help. When we were helping cleanse the west side and we came across your family, we tried to help. We spent a few weeks looking for you in those woods. We found many of those deserters, uh, but none knew where you went. And we assumed that you were taken away by a couple of that we did not capture or that you were dead somewhere here in this forest. I just continue walking with him, I guess. Just upset. I'm very sorry of what happened to you. I understand that you might have conflictions with your family. Um, and I understand that they're not your uh, true family. Um, but they did what they could to try and help you. I hope you don't hold that against them. I don't know what where they are now, if they still are at the mill. Um, that area is plagued with thieves uh, and uh, thieves and any other miscreants who wish to just help themselves instead of others. Uh, so I hope they are okay, or if they've moved to somewhere better. Uh, they didn't tell me much about your other family. I hope that you do find uh, strength in knowing more about them, though. Thank you. He just nods. Um, you guys collect some wood uh, and make your way back. Jordan, roll me a stealth check. <laughs> <laughs> Star ever actually show up here? Oh, <laughs> so yeah, it's. So they were walking to draw. You're kind of just like, oh, you know, this is interesting to kind of learn about. And you make your you guys. The, oh, was I actually hearing all that? Well, I because you know everyone was kind of finding their path. I assume that you were about yeah. 40, 50 feet behind. You may not have heard anything, um, but you definitely had line of sight on them because you're trying to like catch up with them. But you didn't like want to interrupt the conversation, so you didn't hear what was ha what was being said. You could just see that they were talking, so you were waiting to intervene later. But you see that they found like some brush, and V Shock is easily just like tearing this dead brush out of the ground, and they both turn around and they just see you, just kind of about fifty feet away. Hello. <laughs> I, I, I got bored. Honestly, I hope you don't mind that I followed. Uh, v Shock kind of looks at Iona for a second, as if wondering how she'll react. But he looks back at Udradar. He says, "Oh, well, of course not. More hands to carry wood." Uh, the only the only ones left at camp are Xerxes and Kaigo, and it appears that Kaigo is having a cat nap. <laughs> Just pulling up that good old mat, <laughs> getting ready to lie down. <laughs> yeah, I will. Uh, I will start uh, helping. All right. To to collect wood. You guys start collecting wood. So, uh, how do, uh, how do you guys feel about what, what went down back there? How about you, Vishak? How are you, how are you feeling about that? I've seen many things that involve violent encounters. I'm very surprised and delighted that it ended in that way of being resolved. Do you, uh, have you had any... Any encounters with this Lady Asala in the past? And you've been around the block a few times. Uh, as I said, exploring west uh, through these thieves' towns, uh, I might have heard mention of of an Asala, but there are many names uh, of many great thieves and kings, thieves' kings, at, uh, that roam those streets. And I would not be surprised if a few of them made their way east. I think perhaps uh, might be somebody that uh that that we might find a bounty on something something that might uh profit us in this in our quest. Uh, maybe not in the courtyard, but perhaps in the city. Once we're done here, uh, we may find a uh, a house 
that would be able to accept her this bounty. Yeah, well, if any luck, uh, she might be an enemy. Oh, if she's awake uh, when we get back, we should ask if she uh, has had prior dealings with uh, the king, the Bifrost Bane. Ah, uh, Julius. Uh, if they're not uh, on good terms, then perhaps this can be our... Perhaps she could also be part of our present in the door. Could definitely get his attention. Something more personal. The king and his court always uh, enjoy justice. So I'm sure it will only serve as more of a helping to our cause. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, but for now, let us gather wood and we can return to the group. Uh, Tali, go ahead and quickly roll me a survival check. And then we'll, uh, we'll break for a quick dinner. No, man, Tali, you just scored dinner. And speaking of dinner, let's break for dinner. Uh, we'll break for till 7, since we kind of started late. I don't want to take up. If that if that's fast enough for everybody, if people want a longer one, we can go longer. That's good for everyone. All right, cool. So let's break for 15 minutes. I'll see you back at 7. And we'll yep. enjoy fictional D&D &D dinner. All right, sounds good. I don't have any food. <laughs> don't worry, I missed I missed dinner, so all I have is chips. I need to go to the store. You have 15 minutes, so you can get something while while fries are still open. I can't walk to the store in 15 minutes, get food, and get back. Yeah, I don't know. It's wishful thinking. I don't know. Yeah. You could get something from the liquor store, like snacks, chips. No. I I'm not I'm not walking off to some place to get food. All right, then post made it. That's too much. Post made it. But then I'd be interrupting in the middle of the session. I have to go down. It's not going to get here in 15 minutes. Well, I had my dinner. All my chips are gone. Yeah, it usually takes about a half hour to get um, food delivered here. Does it really? Yeah. That's crazy. So, I mean, I could... Let's see how long that takes. I'm probably going to have to leave as soon as everyone gets back. Why? What happened? I'm ordering food. 
since I don't have anything. Have a cup of noodles if you want that. Hmm? Have a cup of noodles if you want that. I don't really want that right now. Anyways, I've already ordered. Alien just offered me the ability to buy a fucking freighter starship mm. for 130 million units. How much do you have? 12 million units. It comes with a lot of storage, a hyperdrive, three hangar bays. Nine spots for ships each. <laughs> I wish I had the money. Yeah. I don't think that game would be able to handle my laptop. Well, my yeah, laptop no. would be able to handle it. When you first load in, it takes a long time to load those changes. <sighs> Oh, by the way, Killian, I'm ordering food, so that's going to be a little bit. Okay. It's saying that I should get it around 7.03, but that's usually off by a few minutes. Oh, focus. God dang it, every time. Come on. Why do you do this to me? I just want you to focus. A Star Destroyer? What the fuck? Dude, that No Man's Sky just getting too intense. I like how we're looking at our screen. <laughs> it's inception. Come Why on. does he have a machete? Come on. Cersei's, how do you feel? Cersei's, how you feeling? <laughs> what? Oh, I said, Sorry. I said, I, how, I, my mic. I said, how are you feeling? No, I, no, I heard you. I just, uh... Then why'd you say what? Because, Sorry. Because, uh... <laughs> if I just to let you know here. I was back. Move back here. We'll focus. Thing to see. Focus! Uh, but Xerxes is super just, like... Just <sighs> yeah, I bet. He's, yeah, he's super depressed. I mean, he, he was depressed beforehand, but now he's just really just in there. Random programs. It's gonna be fun seeing how he acts now. Huh? Focus.
focus on me. Oh, Jesus Christ, why are you so far? Because <laughs> I'm trying to adjust my camera to see if it would autofocus. Mm -hmm. Just want. All I want is for you to focus on me. I think I got it. <sighs> I did. Success. Just too good. Let's punch back in. Yeah. Let's go right there. Let's go with that. How's everyone's dinner? Wait. Mine's pretty good. What are you eating? Popcorn. <laughs> Meanwhile, Lo Lopez is in the No Man's Sky Zone. Careful, Lopez. I don't want you to get too immersed in that game. I'm not. <laughs> I've actually been playing this time. <laughs> I know you have. I'm not dumb. <laughs> You never know, I could be looking at you guys over here. Yeah, I bet. That's why you always look like this. I know we're on that other screen. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> gotcha. <sighs> Delicious. Is it 656 657 They're on their way here. Yay. are on their way here, is that what you said? Yeah. Trying to retort back against Jake. He responded to my Instagram post to me throwing the axe, and he said you throw like a girl. And I'm trying to figure out how to respond correctly, because I don't know how I threw like a girl when I got the bullseye. I don't know. Like, what does that mean? To challenge him to an axe throwing context uh, contest. Like you challenging me, bro, or are you just challenged? Got him. Yep, there you go. That's better. I can't. It's on my professional in my professional Instagram. Oh no. So I'll just well, do you challenging me, bro. DM him on Facebook or something. I will fuck you up. <laughs> Oh man, they better hurry up. Wait. Jake, you can't do that. <laughs> what is he doing? So he posted on Instagram filmmaking. 
I don't know if the, what scene this is, but it, he did a whole bunch of hashtags, which is good. You should do hashtags for stuff. But he was hey hashtags Ari. That's so he's, weird. Not, he's not using an Ari camera. He's using the Black Magic and what looks like the A7S. Unless he's talking about the lighting, but that's still like trickery. <laughs> That's still, that's still, that's still people, a weird thing to people are gonna be, Well, you want to hashtag the companies. Like, he should be hashtagging Black Magic if he's using that, and Sony. Well, then you should, you should just message him like, hey, you should probably add these hashtags in. <laughs> you hashtag like a girl. You <laughs> hashtag like a girl. I don't know how I feel about hashtags. Sometimes they, like, they freak me out. Because, like, uh... I don't do it, but I don't really have any reason to. Vincent, like, when I see Vincent's post, I love Vincent, but, like, it kind of freaks me out how he adds, like, hashtags into his, into his description. Or into his, into the, into the thing. So You like, gotta get trending. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it's totally fine to, like, add them, like, underneath. I think it's totally fine. But, like, okay, to, like I'll be back. Alright. Alright. I like the hashtag, ironically. Do you? I've never hashtagged in my life. Or well, I've like hashtag like I made three or four times. So my stimulus I lied, I guess. In other words. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Court management. Damn dude, I just thought of a good lie that could have got us out of that fight. So yeah, I, I bet. <laughs> yeah, like uh not starting it? <laughs> I said a lie. So the getters and so they, they wouldn't hang her. That's fine. I fucked up and he learned. It's a learning lesson for him. I like how I perfectly cover up his fucking tooth. His, his tooth. And that's great. So oh, yeah, that, James that broke one. his car. No, his truck. Okay. What? James broke his truck? Yeah. How? Wait, uh, wait, just now? Yeah. How do you he know? He blew out the radiator. How do you know? He was that... filming with Dakota and other car guys. He was getting car shots. Oh. Not anymore. Nope. <laughs> Damn. Oh, crap. So him, Madison, right. and Jake are all stuck out here. Where at? I. Uh, around my house. Where are you at, Harmony? I don't know. Oh, I'm in Mesa. Oh, Jesus. Mesa. Yeah. Now they're gonna have to get an Uber or multiple. Ubers. No, they're calling a tow truck. No, yeah, that makes sense. I have way too many swords and shit. I have too many weapons, but all I fucking use is spells. No, I mean, I get too many of these things in real life. Oh. Just a subtle, subtle brag. We got so much stuff. Luis, are you still planning on the 19th? What? What do you mean? To go, oh, to do the thing? Yeah. No, yeah. no. Thing. I thought we talked about it. I, I keep forgetting that we didn't talk to tell you. But we're going to do it at the beginning of the, of the new semester. So that way we don't have to worry about people, like, leaving. Do you have a date or no? Um, I'm thinking... I'm thinking... God, what was it? I, I don't know when sure the next I'm semester working. starts. I think the Tuesday of that week. Uh, Monday Tuesday of that week. September 5th is the first to stay. Okay. Uh, it's either gonna be that or like this. No, I'm thinking the Saturday. The Saturday would probably be the best. So the ninth. Yeah, that'd probably be the, the best. parents stuff. are also going on in that day. Oh, are they What's ready? happening? Oh, we're talking. We're trying to figure out the day to do the the thing. I'm thinking the ninth, oh. which is the was which is that Saturday. Yeah. The Saturday before classes start. No. no the, uh, oh yeah, you know. Next week, the... that Saturday, the school starts. Saturday, the school starts. Okay, so after. after. Alright, we all here? Yeah. No. Alright, let me put my, oh, I was gonna say, let me put my dinner aside. When are we getting that McDonald's sponsorship? I got it. <laughs> oh, you can't show that! You can't show that! <laughs> you can't show, we don't, we're not, don't give her free advertisement. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna go get food after, after this. It's, oh, oh so go left, so I'm going. Oh. I don't know yeah, how, I don't know how you got to McDonald's back that fast. No, she no, ordered it. She, you, I bet you did Uber Eats, didn't you? Yeah. Because Uber now has, you can do McDonald's through Uber Eats. You know, I've never used one of these, like, carry-out 
I've done it once because I got a coupon for it. It takes forever. Thanks for, is it super expensive too? It sounds like it'd be super expensive. Um, Uber Eats is five dollars to live with. Five dollars. Not the best, but not, um. It's kind of rough. Oh my god, there's a dog. Harmon, you have to show us the dog. <laughs> show the dog. Show us the dog, yeah. Harmony. Now Charlotte's sleeping? No, show us the dog. Show us the dog and nobody gets hurt. Come here, baby. Come here. Damn, she gave it that head tilt. <laughs> that sassy head tilt. Ugh. So, dog, you should get your cat <laughs> and show the cat. Oh, I got that big puppy. I, I will find the cat. Alright, hang on. We're gonna, see if, we're gonna see if the dog and the cat interact. Ow, no bite. <laughs> Spider. Spider. Wait, quick. Kitty, sing. Sing. I wanna see I wanna see Ruby sing. Oh no, it doesn't work. I'm not loud enough. Cypress has to be singing. Oh. There's noises. Oh my There's god. Noises. There's noises coming out of the computer. Cause you unplugged the headphones. We're echoing. Danger. Hi! Hi! Puppy! Puppy! He <laughs> doesn't care. It's annoying! Over here! You hear me? Hello? The Don't. other way! Oh! Look at the cat! Dog, look at the cat! Cat, look at the dog! <laughs> look! <laughs> well, your fucking cat doesn't give a shit about anything, does <laughs> There we go. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. That's, All right, that's enough. That's enough of fail. That's a, get him out of here. Come on, man. Who's on the screen? You serve your purpose. All right. A dog's you purpose. I have that movie. The hit movie. So you have that movie? Dude, I'll tell you what. That movie is the best marketing. The dog's purpose. Like someone in a in a in a room was like, man, what do people really get attached to? You get attached to a dog dying in a movie. What if we made a movie like, a, about a dog just dying over and over? <laughs> oh, dude, wasn't that that was exactly what Homeward Bound was? Yeah. All right. Let us continue once Harmony gets back. Oh, by the way, I think I should mention that I, I had Doritos. I'm pretty sure I showed the label. So. Oh my God. That's, that that's why you put. Stuff in uh, containers like my Costco Kirkland popcorn. You wouldn't even know if this is Costco Kirkland popcorn. It's just popcorn. Dude, if we got sponsored by somebody who sells popcorn, I'd be fucking great. I love popcorn. So, anyways, let's get back. Popcorn is my shit. Um, free would be great. Yeah. Well, are we all ready? Sure. So, the group with fire or with all the wood. Comes back, Tolly. You return shortly afterwards, um, with a magnificent roll. Uh, you find some uh, some birds uh, that you manage to uh, like, kind of like Roadrunner like creatures. You know, ones that don't necessarily take flight, but uh, ones that more seek uh, burrowing and tunneling uh, into the and hiding behind rocks and into the crevices. So you manage to find uh, eight of those. And bring them back. And the party's all kind of settled in. Uh, Asala, still knocked out. Slumped over the horse. Uh, Kaigo all set and ready to go on his uh, little bed mat. His bed roll. Uh, Vishok takes the wood. And he piles it up. And uh, he looks over at Jadar. He says, Would you like to light it? <laughs> what kind of a question is that? All right. You easily light the fire, and it sets a blaze, and the whole cavern gets lit with light, uh, reflecting on everybody. The horse gets a little bit startled, but easily calms down. Uh, and Vishak's sitting on the floor, and as is everyone, Tali, you skin the, uh, the, the birds and present everyone with, uh, with one on a stick. What would you like to do with the two spares? They're not skinned right now. You can choose not to skin those yet. And what would you like to do? Would I be able to save them for later? Uh, they can last a day. Okay. But, uh, I don't yeah. want to save them in case I have a bad hunting trip later, okay. like tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, so they'll be able to last till, uh, for another day. Um, 
So everyone starts to settle down. Uh, V-Shock looks at everybody. Uh, he says, uh, who would like to take the first watch? Points over at Kygo. Oh, yeah. Nope. Okay, Kygo's fine. This is very well. Oh, wow, fine. Uh, so how are we going to do this? So it's going to be Kygo. Let's see the turn order here. Iona. Come on, don't be shy. Everyone wants to be alert at some point. Tally's third. I'll take one. I don't know how many uh, how many we're setting up tonight. Jadar, are you going to go fourth then? Sure, I got it. All right, Jadar's fourth, and Xerxes will be tail end. Oh, well, okay. I didn't know we were... What? I've been talking about it for like two minutes. I know, usually it's just like three of us. All right, well, that's fine. I'm fine with that's all doing this. Yeah. There are six people at this party and a prisoner. I mean, yeah. Oh, that's true. But usually it's just like three of us just do rotations and that's it. Well, this way you get longer sleep. I guess. In a way. Sense. And shorter watches. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so uh, you all cook your food. Uh, for the time, for the sake of time, you guys all cook your food fairly well uh, and consume it. And uh, if no one wants to talk about anything, then we'll uh, settle down for sleep. With Kygo at the first watch. So Kygo, go ahead and uh, roll a uh, perception. Oh boy. Oh. Kygo's already attentive. Actually, I'm gonna roll. How many people are there? There's six in total. I'm gonna roll a d6. Oh shit! Something's happening on one of our watches. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. What if it was one? That'd be fine. Hi, go. Mm -mm. Your bed mat. Your bed roll's pretty comfy. <laughs> it's been a. It's been a long, hard journey. You find yourself kind of like slumping back. And picking yourself up, um, but as far you managed to stay awake throughout your watch, uh, and you didn't notice anything different. Oh, thank God. Uh, next up, Iona. You go to wake up Iona and trade off shifts. And mm -hmm. go ahead and roll a perception. You did. Oh man. Uh, you wake up and you're pretty groggy, uh, Iona, just from the engagement. I mean, you were doing a lot of stalking in the trees and not a lot of action. Um, and you two are kind of feeling in and out of it. Um, but as far as you know, it's a very boring watch, which probably, which probably attributed to it. And for next up, we'll go to Tali. So you go to wake up Tali. Tali, go ahead and roll. Man, you guys are all sad. <laughs> sad. Lonely, I am so lonely. Tali! You, uh, you're on watch. Um... Looking towards the mouth of the cave, the cavern. Uh, oh man, <laughs> I'm trying to think of how I want to go about this next part. Oh, great! He got away, or something's gonna come get us. It's an owl bear. Bear coming for us. It's another bear coming for Kaigo. You hear from behind you, Tali. Um, Lady Asala calls out to you. Um, she says, uh, why are you here? And turning around to see, I just slammed my head into the side of my couch. I just slipped. Uh, <laughs> she, turning back to look at her, um, you see that she is sitting up on the horse. Um, she's not slumped over anymore. She has gotten up. Uh, her hands were tied behind her back. Right? Yeah, and her yes. feet were tied, and then yeah. we tied her to the horse. Not anymore. Um, she's sitting there free, free of her own person. Um, she has a dagger in her hand. Uh, just sitting there. I don't know, I'm sorry, your uh, investigation was not good enough to detect the uh -huh. dagger. 
Um, and she just sits there and she looks at you and she asks again, um, why are you here? Why are you here? <laughs> she kind of like raises her eyebrows like, oh, okay, we cool. Brought her here, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> why else is she here? We brought her here. She looks at you. Why am I here? Uh, because, oh, I'm here out of, against my free will. I shouldn't be here. No. Why are you here, Tabaxi? Well, we're staying for the night. We're just, gonna, we're just here to sleep. And what are you to do with me then? I don't think we decided. She kind of just nods. She's kind of like cleaning her fingernails with the edge of the knife. Um, as she's talking. She says, Well, I hope it is not a violent decision. I don't think any of the majority's decisions were <laughs> violent. She looks over at V-Shock. She says, do you know who that man is? Not really. Well, where I come from. Uh, obviously, in the conversation, you don't know about the West, but, um, this man killed many, many people. I did hear he was in a war. I would imagine so. He's a very dangerous person. Who wrote D&D? <laughs> <laughs> um... I, not Dradar. <laughs> Dradar uses third person. <laughs> Dradar would never Dradar do would that. Never do that. <laughs> um, he, let's see. Um, I would not put my trust in him. She kind of nonchalantly is, like, saying this, like, almost like she's blowing it off. Like, not really looking at you, she's just, like, focused on, like, picking her nails. Yeah, well, I have the rest of my party with me. That is true. You might be safe altogether. But why keep me? You're all... I don't know where you're going. Are you taking me somewhere to collect some bounty you think is there? Well, not currently. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> because if you were... What's to stop me from just, and she kind of like points to the cavern, running in that direction? Nothing. Aside from certain doom. <laughs> <laughs> just don't take my fucking horse, that's all I want. I really <laughs> wanted to take the horse. Tolly, <laughs> uh, roll really a perception. Tolly, you see that the cart's hinges are off of the horse's saddle. Oh, fucking course. <laughs> of course it would be. Oh, God. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill everything that I see. I'm burning this whole fucking forest down to the ground. We're in a mountainside. I'm taking the horse. It would aid my journey. Mm. Except the 
person awake is the one with the bow and arrow, so that's right not a good plan. I see the value in attempting to find gold in my stead. Perhaps I can persuade to offer you something else. So I may walk out on my own terms. How would I believe that anything you give me is what you say it is after you've given me us fake things? How do you know that there's a bounty on my head and you're not just carrying baggage that is going to consistently try and escape until you kill me and then there is no bounty to collect? I mean, I don't really care about the bounty. And I care no more for my life, but I'm not going to be turned into whatever quest you think you were going to find within me. I mean, that wasn't my quest, so personally, I don't care. I noticed that uh, you exchanged this old Goliath for someone else who was in your party when we first met. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> your best friend? You forgot about your best friend there, Tally? Uh, yes. He left. Do you know where? I do not. That's why we took her. I'm sure you'll find something to lead you to your Kanku friend. kind of sits there, waiting for your move. I sit there as well. Ooh, staring contest 2.0. Oh my god. The final boss battle of the entire campaign is going to be a staring contest, and Tally is going to... She's going <laughs> to decimate them. She's going to carry the team. She's going to carry you. <laughs> she's going to fight a Cyclops. It will be or Medusa. She's going to counter Medusa. <laughs> Medusa will turn to stone. Um. After seeing that, nothing's gonna happen for probably like a good minute of silence. She finally like looks away from her fingers and she looks at you, Tali. She says, "Would you like to know?" Is that what you want to bargain for your life to get away easily? It would. <laughs> Jersey's mumbling in his sleep. <laughs> oh, that's fine. <laughs> I love you, Horsey. <laughs> what? No, first of all, no, don't do that. Stop. No. No, no. So going back to it. Um, yes. It is what I would like to do. How would I even know that... Make you give me his uh, quest or use of any way in any way. You wouldn't. I'd be honest. You wouldn't. You would just have to trust me. All right. I don't trust you. You may not, but your friend over there and it looks points at Seasling, who's mumbling in his sleep about his horse. <laughs> he. He seems to have a lot more faith in me than you. I think he just likes that wing you gave him. What? <laughs> she kind of she kind of giggles as she thinks about the ri the ring. She's like, ah, it was one of my favorite trinkets, and I'm glad that someone is enjoying it. A little uh, too much, if you ask me. I sense an a uh, <laughs> sort of arrogance aura with him. Yeah. Oh, fuck her. Oh, oh, okay. I saved. Okay, fuck it. Whatever. <laughs> so. I'm not awake. <sighs> Zerxes so wakes up out of nowhere and yells, Oh, fuck you, bitch! <laughs> oh, I'm done! Fuck that whole life. Oh, you're dead! Get out! So. so I just wake up. I'm just gonna fuck that bitch. 
You thought you were safe, you were wrong. <laughs> Just a good old repelling blast off the horse. <laughs> <laughs> Would you be willing to listen and judge for yourself? No. She kind of sighs. Very well. Uh, roll an initiative there, Tally. Oh my god, no. No. Damn. Uh. Um, is it? So defeated. If Tally rolls so, one, she gets the horse. Tally, uh, you see her see it very well. Um. She's gonna try to leave my horse. Isn't and. She? She uh she puts her feet in the like the the stirrups of the horse. Oh fuck her! And she's getting ready to take off, and but you have first move. She's still in the same spot that she's in. She's probably only like, like ten feet away. Um, I want to shoot an arrow at her, and as I do that, I want to try to yell and wake everyone up. Okay, I can yeah I can do that as a bonus action. So roll for attack. Okay, you make it. All right. So you yell out, and what are you yelling? Just just yelling to. Wake get up! Out. She's escaping. That's very like very that. long and exasperated. <laughs> Wake up, Lady Asala! I woke up and she was trying to talk to me, and now she's getting away on on Xerxes' horse, and we have to stop her. <laughs> <laughs> Well, then she's saying that Xerxes is that she's taking the horse. So I'm like, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the only piece that Xerxes that wakes Xerxes up. Everything else is dead silent. Straight up, is like, just eyes just spring open. What? Go ahead and roll a uh, uh, charisma. Charisma. Because I want to see or performance. I'm sorry, performance. We're gonna see how loud you can be there, Tali. Oh God. Dude, what if she gets a I one? Need to... oh. oh, thank God. Okay, good. Yeah, Tali. So as oh. you're as you're like taking in that like breath to take a shot, you're just like, get her! It's just it's like, this like very this very loud like command to people, and everyone's like really like they wakes up, super confused about why that is. Um, and as you all wake up, uh, you can see, uh, Lady Sol is on the horse, and she is beginning her escape, and this arrow just goes and flies and hits her right in the uh right in the side, and she oh, no. keels over on the horse. I mean, she was, I mean, she, she, you guys didn't heal her. She had to recover on her own, so she's not doing well. Uh, she's essentially on the brink of death at this point. Um, but, so she's, like, healed over on the horse, uh, bleeding all over Ashrod and, uh, attempting. She's still, like, going straight. Uh, whether or not you can see if she, whether or not you can see that she is dead or not, because she just, like, slumped onto at the this horse. point, it just looks like the horse is running on some. Yes, yes. The yeah. horse is running towards, uh... The, oh! Xerxes, roll a, uh, animal handling. Dude. Let's see. Let's see if you can call her back. Oh! Oh! oh. Alright. Xerxes. A shroud does not come back, but she does stop. Alright, and I, I just call her back again. Alright, go ahead and roll another animal handling, let's see. And I start to, like, walk towards her. <laughs> Come here, girl! Come on! <laughs> oh, no. Alright, she, the horse doesn't recognize it, but it just stands there. So, I Iona, Xerxes whistling worked. Oh, he, nice. He got, he got a shroud to stop. So, the horse stops, um... Is anyone walking over there? Are you walking over oh, there, no, Xerxes? So, I'm walking over there, yeah. and I'm just, like, preparing so, like, having, like, an, uh, a repelling blast just on, re on standby. So, <laughs> hello? Yeah, Boom! Yeah, just go I'm smacking the bitch off. Um, I'm not taking my horse. So, walking over, you see uh, her robes are just, like, up against the, the horse's entire back. Um, blood seeping out from her right side uh, and dripping down to the floor. Um, she doesn't appear to be moving. Uh, and the arrow is just sticking out of her side. And uh, upon closer inspection, her eyes are open and she appears to be dead. Well, 
Check if she's dead. <laughs> no, that wasn't my first instinct. She's Yeah, she's she's gone. She's gone. So Can now we're gonna anything from her. Go for it, Kaigo. Oh. Revivify. Oh, wait, hold on, don't do that yet. Let me just think I get her off the horse real quick. It's like wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Don't revive her while she's on the horse. <laughs> I can't let her leave. Dude, we need a diamond. What? This is uh, diamond uh, worth 20 uh, gold. Oh, yeah, casting components. That's a thing. Can't do it, Kaigo. Fuck. Yeah, I remember, I'm like, reviving people isn't that easy, right? I was about to say, like, holy shit, Kaigo, you know how to revive people at level 4? I was like, that's crazy. It's a can- I think it's a cantrip. Mine? It's an abjuration. No, that's that's the class. Of, of, of oh, class. okay. Yeah, no. Cantrips are stuff that like like I can keep forever. All right. Yeah, no. you need a diamond, fam. <laughs> yeah, just for ah! that. One, that would be just too too good. No, it's so Asala good. is dead. Cool. Yeah, and she's unless we have a uh, somebody has a diamond worth three hundred gold right now, she's gonna stay dead forever. I mean, Omar might. <laughs> Dude, we, it has to be in the last minute. <laughs> Well, uh... we better speed run this real fast. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the speed run channel, you guys. <laughs> the DD speed run, and you're there. <laughs> all right. There. So, Look, and we're now at level twenty. We have all our stuff. So, what are you guys gonna do? Well, <sighs> that was probably about as good as an outcome as we could have expected for that. Back to sleep. Why? Just someone like sits, they like sat up, and they just roll over. And they're like, "All right, whatever." <laughs> <laughs> Take a nap. And I, 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 I tell, I tell Charlotte she did a really good job in Inferno. I want her just to re respond to my whistles and in, in, and in. Who's Inferno. Charlotte? Shrod. What do you mean? It's the horse. That's Rod. He called me Charlotte. Did I call you Charlotte? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> Who's Charlotte? <laughs> We're only in game here. Huh? What? Is Jedi did, uh... still on for you guys? So yeah. Did anybody yeah, look on. at that? Anybody look at that? Uh... Refresher page. No. What's, up? What's up, Chase? Anybody look at that? Uh, that dagger that she had mysteriously. What she? No, uh, no. I, I guess I'll check. I'll... It's it's very limply hanging in her hand that she has kind of like tucked down by her side. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna check her robe see if she's got anything on like. Uh... There's anything in money. Roll an investigation. Nope. Xerxes, your hands like so you're trying to to like pull her robes aside because they're all kind of just laid out over her, but you cannot like pull her robes up. There just seems to be many layers of her robes. And so you're just you're pulling uh I, you're just, I just pulling it up and then like another thing. section falls down. You're just like and you just can't you can't get in to to see okay. if she has anything. seeing him struggling, can I check? Yeah, go for it. Because yeah, what I imagine is like I just try to like check her while she's on the on the horse, but I just yank her down. What? Nothing. What's up? Besides the tagger doll or the dagger tolly, you don't fire anything. Okay. You, you can only see me. Oh yeah, no. the... is he talking? We can't we can't even see her. Yeah, Harmony can, can only see me. Uh, tell her to refresh the page again. Yeah, that's what she's doing. That's right. interesting. So. Roll a 20. I guess, uh, I, at that point, I just pick her up on my on my shoulder, and mm -hmm. I'm going to try to walk her towards the cart and just lay on the back. Fishok stops you. <laughs> he oh, stands okay. up, and he's like, I said, she does not go in my cart. Okay, that's fine. I mean, if we still want to see if we, she has got a bounty, we can tie her to towards the cart, and we'll just drag her along when we head back. You see us now, Harmony? Besides Kaigo. I can't see her. Oh my oh. god! It's not, it's not black. It's just his picture. All right. Well, why don't you, you hear him? Pages. Oh my god! No. Okay. You guys well, see everybody? Can everyone see everybody? I can see everybody. I can see everybody. Lopez, can you? I can't see her. Still missing Kaigo. Both of you, you refresh. Just, yeah, why don't you both no. refresh? Both of you refresh. No, it doesn't take that long, Jesus. No, it's just my computer. It's <laughs> and now we'll never know what her computer is. <laughs> I know. Who blacked I out SpongeBob's tooth? 
<laughs> it was not Jadar. Jadar would uh, yeah, I was, <laughs> Jadar would never ever do why, that. Why am I the only one that does paintings and stuff, alright? I'm trying to encourage you guys. I'm trying to encourage art. Can you see everybody now, One, Kitty? Two, three. Yes. All right, cool. Everybody. So, so Xerxes, what do you? So Xerxes has suggested to keep the body for a possible bounty recollection. We'll leave her in this cave and come back. Oh yeah, okay, that works. And no, because then something might eat her. I mean, I mean, if we keep her robes, that might be we better. We can put her in a tree. We could put her in a tree, that's right. You... All right well, yeah, let's put her in a tree, I guess. You oh, be where she was originally going to die anyways. Yeah, we just... It, it came full circle. We could just take I don't even feel shitty about it. What tree? You guys there. are in the mountain areas. Oh, that's right. Then... I guess we'll just... I don't know. We'll just, I guess, keep her in the cave. Alright. <laughs> Well, we could do a oh, traditional burial of my people. I'll be back. There. No. I gotta go to the oh, there goes Harmony again. So, with Ta, we can so push a boulder over the cave so no one can get to her. And which is, when we get back, she's probably gonna be gone. What are we shrekking it? Oh no, you're thinking Christ. When he when when he came out of the, the when he rolled that boulder out and he was like, I'm back. It only took me three days. Guess who's back? Back again. Alright, so, um, where are we, what are we doing with her? Shady's back. What are we doing? What are we doing with her? Uh, I don't have any more fire breath today, otherwise I just cremate her right here. I mean, she was trying to imply to me that there was no bounty for her. I think. She's, she was literally a lying thief, though. Yeah. But she might not have ever been caught before. Uh, I don't think, going. yeah, I don't think we were going to get her back alive if she can, if she was able to just get out of those ropes and produce a magic dagger out of nowhere. Probably taking the corpse back is the best hope that we'd have of finding a bounty. Alright, so where you guys, you guys are going to leave the body right now in the cave? I will put a rock on her chest. Okay. There is a rock there. Okay. There's now no she rock. cannot move. Okay. <laughs> uh, if she becomes a zombie and tries to get up, she will not be able to move. Okay. We solved That's that. A good idea. We solved that crisis. Okay. Uh, so Tali, your shift has now ended. Uh, it is now Jadar's turn. To take watch. So everyone starts to stumble back to bed. Jadar, go ahead and roll me a perception. What a miss. Uh, right I now, put he her. put he put a rock in her chest in case she turned into a zombie. Yep. On her chest or in her chest? Like, on her <laughs> chest. Okay, because I heard in her chest, I was like, whoa. I was like, oh my God, I removed her heart, ate it, and replaced it with a large boulder. Jesus. That's pretty awful. <laughs> I didn't do it. Insane tribal warrior character right. at some point. So at this time, everyone is asleep except for Jadar. Um, Jadar, you get a couple hours into your shift, uh, and you hear movement uh, by the cart. Uh, checking the cart, you see that uh, V-Shock has gotten up, and he is uh, rummaging through his burlap sack. You're an early riser. Kind of looks back at you. And Oh, I hope I didn't startle you. I, uh, I could not sleep. Oh, no, no, it's fine. I'm on my watch, though. There's not much left to watch, it seems. It does seem the main danger something... was cast aside. Something troubling you? No, not really. I wanted to make sure uh, I had everything I had packed in my, in my package. Oh, at least we don't have to. We don't have to worry about anything going missing in the middle of the night, right? Indeed. Indeed. 
so what are you uh what are your thoughts? What do you think we'll encounter in this cave tomorrow? You know uh, what uh do you know what normally lives around here that might have moved into such a place? I mean my people moved into a cave that was abandoned. It's who knows what could have moved in here. Well your tiefling friend Xerxes thinks that goblins could still be there. And that's a fair assumption. There could still be goblins that are living there. Uh, the king's men, I would hope, would have taken care of them. Or not the king's men, the uh, the Bifrostbane's uh, army. The men of the king. Yeah, the, the men. Of, yeah. yeah. Not but the king's like, king's men. Like, yeah. Oh, I don't think yeah. That fight. Uh, hope... Bad ass secret agents are going to fuck our shit up. I like to no, think no. that they could reclaim. That is the thing. Yeah. It's a thing. It's part of my backstory. Yeah. Uh, that they could overtake it, but if they could, then we wouldn't be searching for this gold. So that's true. It could be go. It could be goblins. It could be under uh, umber hulks. It could be much darker there... and fiercer creatures. You know, we never really looked, but are there signs anywhere around the entrance to this cave of uh, other looters? Who have tried to enter this after the that battle? Like, did we? Is, is there any signs of like a, a camp that may have been set up here before us? Are you asking me as a DM? Or are you asking Vshock? I, I'm asking like, much as as a DM, like, do we see anything? Because we've been here for a little while. Uh, because you guys are kind of uh, half a day out. You guys are still like probably six to eight hours away from the actual. Oh, are we not yeah. at the entrance to the cave? No. No, it was a, it was gonna be a day and a half, so. I kept hearing the cave. Oh, that we were there. I said that you guys went to a cave. Yeah, you guys are in a cavern. Um, oh. Okay. Yeah. So you guys are about half a day out. You die, dumb. But um. You die lost. But yeah. So at this point, there are no signs, but there could be signs later on. Okay. Um. Okay. He he finishes looking through his burlap sack, and he he's like, "Well, I." Uh, should get back to trying to sleep before my final watch. I will uh, let you get back to finishing yours. And he heads back to go sleep. All right, I'll let him. I'll let him sleep then. All right, cool. Uh, Xerxes, it is now your shift. Dar goes and wakes you up. And let's see you roll a perception. Careful back there. The corpse is getting smelly. I'm just gonna play with us, Rod. I mean, I, no, she's asleep. I'm not gonna wake her up. That's my stuff. You're just not paying attention to a lot there, Xerxes. Yeah. But luckily, just, nothing seems to have happened on your watch. I'm just contemplating life. Why you, I was chosen. You wake up V-Shock later at the end of your watch, and everything seems to be fine with his. And you guys wake up the next morning. It's about 8 a.m. Uh, you guys all pack up and get ready to go. Um. Vishak looks over at the somewhat smelly corpse uh, that now has this... The the blood has gone from, like, liquid to, like, that sticky form of a solid. Um, it's curdling. Yeah, it's curdling. Um, he looks over and he says, what shall we do with her? If we're going to be out here... If we're going to be out here for a couple days, that's going to get real nasty. Yeah. Us. If we do turn her in, that might just get us more trouble because of the thieves' guild, right? Is she, uh, she is a current member of the thieves' guild, isn't she? Wouldn't Dude, it be we're... ironic if we get a bounty put out on us because of this? Yeah, exactly. So I'm thinking maybe we should just probably just just leave her here. Want to just leave her in the cave? I mean, we can leave her here and then see if there's anything left by the time we get back. We can take the lock off and just let it look like something ate her once something eventually does come around. Oh, I know. I know what we can do. Uh, wait. In this world, would they be more accepting, uh, from an out of character thing, uh, would they be more accepting of fingers or ears as proof of a bounty kill? <laughs> Cool. I, have I, to know, I now have to. I now have to consider identification legitimacy. 
I have seen both occur in, like, in actual, like, now, Wild see, West bounties. Now you want me to, like, now I want to come up with something more creative than ears and fingers. A butt Whatever they want me to cut off, I'll, I'll do it. I'll take a little trophy with me, but we're probably not taking this whole body. I'm gonna, just because for the fun of it and to keep the dark, dark theme going, uh, I'm gonna say that they require eyes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right. Both? One or both? Uh, one, at least, because, you know, some people can get injured in battle, so they need that's at least true, one. That's true. That's true. Some people lose their eyes. Yeah. All right. Uh, so I'm going to take an eye. Does anybody want to take the other one for backup in case I lose it or <laughs> get squished or something? I got a jar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll get the other eye. Yeah, Tally. All right. <laughs> How are you guys carrying this? Carrying the eyes? Uh, oh, God. What do I just going to tie, tie the, the tendon of the eye stem to your <laughs> belt so it just bounces around on your hip. Uh, I should still have an empty uh, from that potion that I used earlier. Mm -hmm. I should still have the, uh, the empty bottle from that great healing potion. Okay. Uh, I just want to... I'll pop mine in there and I'll hold a offer to Tally and if she wants to pop it in there for safekeeping. Well what we do have in both of them so in case one of us lost it, we shouldn't put them both together. Yeah, I'm just saying if you don't have anywhere better to put it, I'd put it in there. And I'm gonna pour a little bit of our little bit of my water in there too. So it's like helps oh, keep it fresh. Ew. Yeah. Mm. Nasty. I don't think yeah, I don't think I have anything I can really put it in. If you want to pop it in here, the, that'll that'll probably okay. be fine. Alright. Okay. So, Dadar, now uh, add to your inventory... Two eyeballs and a glass. Of yeah. <laughs> While they're doing that, can I try to, like, again, try to make a... Teach, teach us sure. how to come to my Do website? it. Yeah, roll an animal handling. Alright, dope. Oh, sh oh, damn. Yeah, you saw that 22 and you were so excited. I did. Uh, still not moving really. Um, turning. Uh, she turns her head to face you, but doesn't do anything else. Uh, but you guys pack up everything, and you guys begin your journey. Oh, I, I saddle up the, the cart too. I try to get. All right. You guys begin north. You guys travel for a good many hours. Um, you eat lunch. Uh, excuse me. And you uh, continue on your way, and you start uh, making an incline into the depths of the mountain. Um, not very far, but you guys take a couple hours getting up the inclination of the hillside. And you guys uh, can just oversee the valley, this large uh, canyon, essentially, of bare rock and everything. Uh, and looking out that way, let me find my, my thing. You guys start to come across weapons, very old and damaged and weathered, um, and bo and skeleton every now and then. Uh, so, like, leftovers from a war. Leftover from it, what could be a, a big battle. <laughs> um, and atop on a on a great rock, there's a what looks to be a wooden staff in between a uh, in, in between these large rocks, but it's broken at the top. Or I broke it at about the halfway point, and hanging by a strand, it's just hanging down, is a, uh, is some sort of banner. Totally, go to totally go conspicuous. To You're going go go to go up to Xerxes? Alright, yeah. so you approach the, uh, the staff, and you find this banner, and on this banner, it's a, it's black with, uh, with deep red trimming. Uh, like edging and stitching around it. And in the very center is uh, this symbol. Let me pull this up. I think this is still control v Let me make sure. Yeah. So it's this symbol of essentially two Vs crossing with uh, a very unique... I like to think it's unique because I drew it. Uh, uh, style of a fire. Uh, it's very bright green, like uh, like a lime green emerald, essentially. 
uh, in the very center. I looked at that and I immediately thought like the marker from Dead Space. Oh wow! I didn't even think about that. That's yeah, pretty interesting. That looks, looks like the marker. The way it swirls around and ends in two points. Yeah. All right. Do I do I know anything? Would Xerxes know anything about this since it's like a big mm. thing event? What's up, Iona? <laughs> Do, do I know what that there. is? That looks familiar to me, I feel but like. You're not there. I am the only one who walked up to the banner. Oh. Can okay, not we see all... from a distance? I think you all can eventually make your approach. Um, so Xerxes asked first. Uh, you wouldn't... You, your people wouldn't carry this symbol, so you wouldn't recognize the symbol as anything. Um... Iona, you, even though you may feel like it's familiar, uh, unfortunately it is not. Uh, Do I recognize it? I believe Do no one here, none it? of you okay. would, except for V-Shock. Oh. Yo, V-Shock. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you recognize this symbol. Yo, bro, I heard you re recognizing the symbols and shit. What's up? V-Shock uh, comes, like, as you're holding this, and you're kind of, like, looking over at everyone, like, you know, what is this? V-Shock comes over, What's and he about? just grips this banner out of your hands and he just like is like just looking at it and he just throws it on the ground like he snaps it off the rest of the uh, off the staff and throws it on the ground and he says this is a bad place why I'll why? tell you why once Harmony gets back there she is <laughs> all I see is blackness I don't yeah, see her. she's getting there She's getting here. There she is. Yay! She's back. Oh, no, she's oh, gone. She's gone. <laughs> no, she's back. All right, so, uh, Harmony, V-Shock said that this is a bad place, and Cersei asked why. So, oh, okay. he replies, um, this is the symbol of the wizard. The wizard. He was the... I like, I like how Harmony always makes fun of all of my stuff. <laughs> She always laughs at everything. My voices and everything. Um, as I've said before, there were uh, many leaders of this uh, evil army, and the one that we could never find was the wizard. Uh, this is his banner. I do not know why it serves itself on Omar's in Omar's territory, but this was uh, his his emblem that he bore, that he bore for all of his bannermen. Are you saying this is a possible, uh, oh, what's the word, uh, remnant, remnant of the, the great war? This battle does appear to be untouched after the war. Uh, I, it would perhaps Osmir knows more about, this conflict. Um, I was not a part of this battle. Um, but I would say yes, that perhaps some of the reinforcements that uh, Omar's tomb received shortly after the Tiefling and Dwarf victory was the wizard's reinforcements. Perhaps we will have a chance to battle the great enemies of old, like you did, Bishak. He kind of lets out this this laugh. It's it's it has some sincerity, but he's more reflecting on how many years he spent fighting in this, and how long it's taken him just to get as far as they were. And he uh, he just kind of nods and he's uh, he reflects on it and says, uh, "I would uh, I would hope to see his end as much as we saw the the rest." And uh, with that, he. He looks at the uh, the banner and he looks back out towards the path that you guys are walking. He says, "We should keep moving. Uh, we're almost there." All right. Can I, as you leave, can I take it like a, kind of get a quick look and see like what the corpses look like? Are they mainly tea playing or anything like that? Uh, you definitely see. Uh, there's definitely a variety. Um, I mean, you see human. Uh, you see dwarf, short, uh, stockier skeletons from dwarves uh, you do see the horns that appear to be to tiefling um and you also see uh more much smaller and more fragile ones which could be goblin 
What the heck just happened? Keith Lincoln. Uh, because if right. we need to, yeah, we can just. Uh, and we're back to this madness here. <laughs> we're not racist. I just want to point that out. We're not. Welcome back. Yeah, I'm going to cover up that. A Satanist. I'm gonna cover that up with you guys' stuff. He looked too much like a neo-Nazi, so we kind of just let look the at, opportunity. Look in his him. eyes. <laughs> He's gone mad with power. That that's beautiful, right? <laughs> Alright, so, like so I, I believe that you said that like. there was a bunch of different corpses in there, right? <laughs> yes, I mentioned that there were a variety of corpses. Of like goblins and humans and tiefling and dwarves and such. Okay. V shock. Yeah, that... He looked at the flat or the banner and he said, "We should keep moving." Yeah, that's. I think that's, that was it. I don't okay. think we wanted to do anything else. Did anyone want to do anything else? All right. So let's continue. So you guys make your way. Um, uh, and after a few more hours, the uh, you guys come through the mountain edge and you you reach like a cliffside and looking down uh probably about a quarter of a mile uh ahead of you you can see because again like you're on you're on caverns or in canyons um if you were to descend down uh the hill that you guys are on you guys could walk across the canyon and get to a very large cliff that's on the other side of this canyon with a opening uh, where at the very bottom of where you guys are at, there's just swarms of, uh, of, what did I have listed? Let me make sure that I'm saying everything correct. I don't want to, just bones, essentially. Um, and just an aftermath of a severe battle. And he looks out and he says, we have arrived. This place looks practically untouched. I've like no been here in a dozen years. I would assume haunting tales of curses and evil creatures and beings would deter anyone from wanting to risk their life for gold that may or may not even be here. Alright, so, do we start now, I'm assuming? That's the question. It's 8.30. You guys want to dive into it, or do you want to wait? I want to dive into it. Oh boy. I mean... I mean, how far could we really I don't know. I mean, I got a day off tomorrow. I can be here for as long as you guys want to be. Uh, I, I still have one thing I got to do tonight. I'm doing Game of Thrones in half an hour. I know. Oh no, Jadar, I covered up. I'd kind of like to do food before that. I mean, I do food afterwards, but. We want to pause here? Uh, I, I think getting to the entrance of the cave is a good, uh, good stopping point I mean, before we roll initiative. I never said he had to roll initiative yet, Jadar. Oh, we're going to be rolling some initiative. <laughs> Not this session, we aren't. Do we roll an initiative every session? No. <laughs> there have been a couple we haven't. Really? Yeah. You know, half the time we probably wouldn't have to if people wouldn't, you know, just jump the gun on shit. Well, hey, hey, we didn't fight hey. anything last session. I'm pretty sure we did. No, we didn't. You're right. We were in the town the whole time, weren't we? We were hanging out with V-Shock. We, like, accidentally attacked V-Shock because we kept rolling. For, oh, rolling <laughs> for all your weapons. Yeah. Whoa. Who just Jesus, had, like, that was scary. <laughs> That was terrifying. I think you had yeah. a, a brief back echo, Iona, and like it just, it sounded like a ghost haunting, and it was really scary. Yeah, that keeps happening to us. I think our, I think our terrifying mural here has summoned something. It's coming to life. <laughs> We've summoned the god of shit posts. All right. All right. So, I, I, for the sake of it, you guys, uh, after probably about an hour of descending, you guys do make it to the mouth of. Uh, of the cavern and you guys see the newest window feature update is here that's so cool i don't <laughs> care uh and you guys 
getting to the, you guys have to step over bones and uh, just broken weaponry from uh, everything that has just been like impaled on the people. Uh, you do see a couple fires, probably from the parties, the invading parties that were camping just outside the dungeon. Um, but they've been long cooked and overdone. Uh, just nothing but charcoal and ember at this point. Uh, and it's just this large 15 foot tall hole in the wall. Oh, that's intimidating. And I suppose that is where we'll end it there for today. All right, cool. It works for me. All right. I'm very happy with where we got. I wouldn't want to interrupt the Omar's tomb thing. That means we can dedicate a whole session to it. Yeah, uh, I figured that would be best. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm excited. This session was Just... focused around the, uh, the encounter with the thief. I didn't expect it to last that long, actually. I didn't expect you guys to... Well, first off, I didn't expect... Uh, Xerxes to no, just... Okay, first of all, let's just uh, let's leave the past in the past. How about that? <laughs> That's just his thing now. Yeah. Just jumping straight into battle. Yep, pretty much. I get bored pretty easily. If I don't get one fight every session, I'm going to get pretty bored. All right, obviously... Okay, well, we've got ample opportunity to give Xerxes a nickname now. Like, surely yeah. we can give him a nickname based okay. off something he's done. All right, do it. You guys have a lot of, actually, a lot of things to give me up. I mean, you guys can come up with that on your own accord. Um, we're going to have to go to the group chat on that one. <laughs> we're all here now. Why don't we just do it now? Because there's so many options, Xerxes. You do yeah, so many you gotta, things. You got to think about it. 